Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Mr. Mighty Lieutenant Drakir, at your service. And welcome back to the Dark Side Detective, a fumble in the dark, where last time, well, a lot happened. <laughs> we got Dooley back, and uh, it took me a while to realize, but uh, when we examined that payphone outside, yeah, outside of uh, <laughs> McQueen's, attack, uh, yeah, McQueen's uh, apartment complex, he said that's where Dooley always goes to call him up for when he's uh, ready to get picked, when he's ready to go. So he's been there a whole fucking year. He went, he just beelined to that and stayed there an entire fucking year, waiting for, <laughs> waiting for his friend to finally realize, oh yeah, I'm with the usual. Oh. Um. I guess he didn't realize it was his the usual place. No. They did have an interference when they were trying to talk with him. Yeah. Anyways, let's continue with the second case, Twilight Years. And I am still fully expecting a Twilight joke somewhere around here. Question is... Twilight as vampires or Twilight Zone? Either could do, actually. <laughs> actually, yeah. now I'm expecting both. <clears throat> I think I want to see a little bit of Twilight Zone. She can't hit me on my whole wall. Looks like she's up almost. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, I was cleaning my glasses. <laughs> okay, let's see. Mm. Looks like she's higher up than you can throw. We've been at this still made a while, but who cares? It's fun. I hope we hit one another soon, though. Staying dry isn't the hallmark of a good water fight. Okay, so we need, according to the hint site that I've been using, we need to end the water fight before we can, well, get the danger pace that we need to stick this thing to the fan to fake a possession and end the rave <laughs> happening a few doors down. Uh, let's see. Right, it's time to disarm you two. No way. Get him. All right, this, yeah. Oh, fine, I'll leave them. Good, I'm going nowhere until... Do we need to... You can... I think... I think I just completely mirrored my reaction to the first time that happened. I think okay. so, and... I think we both know what Rom had said. You know, here. Phrasing? Yes. There's a crack in the wall. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to throw something at her or get her down from her perch somehow. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's even I know we can't go around tearing off people's arms. Okay, I don't have any of a clue of how to get them to stop, though. I think I found everything. I already saw that bit. And Unless there's something I'm missing again. Hmm. Uh, that line again. Bug sapper. Uh, yeah, I've already seen that as well. Okay, let me check around a bit more. Wait, each oh, bin has oh, different names. Okay, we didn't know we could go around through here, and yeah, we need and we need to actually no, we need to we need to paste to get them to stop fucking with the car. Hmm. Okay, what do we need to stick the teddy to the fan then? Hmm. Also, why do I get the feeling that it's Dooley who installed this and somehow managed to not make it launch him into orbit? Wait. Weren't those originally designed to handle car chases better? Before no idea. I don't know if this is a false memory. I feel like I remember hearing they're supposed to help when they are high-speed chases, especially with areas that have very angular roads. Maybe. They can just suddenly just drop. Hmm. But some people decided to go, oh, let's put them in normal cars. Okay, but I'm they can do tricks. 
But yeah. again, Kirby false info. This is info I heard long, long, long ago. So it could just be false. Again, I've actually I think about it. I was not even an adult when I heard about that uh, thing. And for another kid, so yeah, take it with a uh, your salt. Hmm. Okay, according to the hints, I need the Super Soaker to stop the water balloon fight. So it's, oh, it clicked outside of the game. Hmm. Okay, how? Uh, yeah. Divine. Uh, oh. Okay, I. Okay, I sort I sort of guessed this a while back, or in the previous stream, because there is something we noticed out here in the courtyard with the fountain, right? The top end. Yeah. And I, I think I actually said we could maybe give this as a replacement, you know, give this to the pastor uh, as a replacement for a super soaker. Apparently that's the whole fucking idea with it. Uh, I don't remember that at all. I think I said something to the counter of that or something. And I yes, remember... I'm, I'm noticing stutter in my movement again, so I might need to ditch that uh, current capture method. Uh, I thought hmm. you talked about. I remember you talking about the mannequin. Hmm. And Maybe of course, I'm misremembering the then. I want to be on fire. Anyways, does that topping look loose to you? Yep. And here I thought I'd have to. <laughs> no. And here I thought I'd have to do something else to get it loose. Okay. And now we have. Well, the first piece of the puzzle to set off this whole, uh... <coughs> this whole chain reaction. Okay, rec room. You'll want this, I... Here, take this. It'll keep you safe. You? You sure, bro? You're the brace. What chance do any of us have if you're on the fence? <laughs> they got me there, my dude. Big G will keep me safe. I can take my... You can take my soaker. Okay. The... the the Bram Soaker? Really? <laughs> Your last line of defense against the force of darkness. Bram Stoker. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. I'm in pain. Right, if it's what you want... Look, Mavis, the cops are towing the hose on us. Just like in 43. I feel so alive. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Both for good measure. Quite a, <laughs> quite a spray on that thing. You can have the balloons, youngster. We won't need it for what comes next. Oh, George. Uh... <laughs> right, so how are we getting on with things around here? The old carjacker still needs to be taken care of. We still need to shut down that rave. <coughs> Dark! <coughs> okay. I honestly would have expected taking a few water balloons to have been easier. That's the problem with expecting. You make an XP out of C and A. Sorry, sorry, but I'm giving up on that one. <laughs> uh, it's better not to try and make any sense of Dooley if you <laughs> if you value your sanity. Yeah, because uh, that one just felt like way too much work to try and read with uh, his voice. Right, now to scoop up as much gum as I can, uh, as I can get into these balloons. Okay, gum balloons. What are balloons filled instead with denture gum? Oh boy. We do get up to some mischiefs, eh? Okay, now let's stop this carjacking. I just gotta aim for the wheels. Ah, the car is stuck. That's no fun. Boo. I guess I should be glad this game is PG and I didn't get flung out of the window. Grumble, grumble. <laughs> Alright, there was some getting on. Still need to shut down that rave. <coughs> Nark! Okay. How do we... <laughs> it's... We're stuck. Time for a nap, I guess. No, oh, no fun. But we can't... Can I take this banner now? Whatever, I have more if I need them. When I need them. Okay, now we have something to tie the bear to the fan. 
I keep I know what you these meant. Two. I bloody knew what you meant, but my brain went elsewhere. If I tie this to him, then I can hang him up, hang him up, whatever I want to really get uh, that ghost vibe across. Okay, possessed any with rope attachment. Okay, this demonic bear is ready for hang. <laughs> he just realized what he said. I shouldn't sound so eager about this. That should be fairly secure. All I gotta do now is turn it on and let it work its magic. Okay, let's begin the possession. Yay! <laughs> ah, the demon, call the priest! Oh, my bowels. Really? <laughs> this is like a this is like a discount Walmart possession. What's all the screen? Bloody hell, just as well I have this crucifix. By the power of Christ, I compel thee. Yes, it's working. We gotta, uh, we just gotta sneak in now and turn off his desk, uh, the decks, to stop next door's raves. Uh, wait, what? Bears, bears, Lebub? You dare compel me? Who's this now? Backfall demon to whatever you came from. You shall not harm these innocents on my watch. What the? Ah! Be gone, I say. No! Yep. What just happened? <laughs> Bro, I'm exhausted. Just as well you gave me this. I'm not sure my super soaker could have defeated a demon that powerful. I am very confused, but also glad I gave you that now. I mean, dude, I need to rest after that. A fool don't have the energy to carry on partying. Can you wrap things up next door for me? Uh, sure. Sorry, I'm still a bit taken aback, if I'm honest. Understandable, my brother child. Take mucho care. Yeah, you too. <laughs> okay, so what was the bear actually freaking possessed? I think so, and I need to say this. There are many times I feel like the, the, my queen has said lines that sound so way too much like Killian that I have to uh, not realize uh, until it's a little bit few seconds that it, he is actually seeing that in the text. But it sounds so normal hill lines, if that makes sense. Uh, Hillian lines, just to not make people confused. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to screenshot the bear line, the bear hanging line, and sharing that around. <laughs> Oh, God. Well, that was something. We better go shut down that rave. <clears throat> this goes against everything I believe in. I never trusted that bear. <laughs> right, let's turn all this off. Ah. <laughs> Complete with record strength. Right, how are we getting on with things around here? Actually, I think it's everything. Let's go see Nanny Dooley. Daddy! Can we actually... Uh, with Pastor fairly gone to lie down, I can move this desk out of my way. Okay, we can lift it out of the way. What? I'll help. I'm just not as into all that stuff you like. You know, physical exertion. I'm all about the mind sweat. Oh, dear. <clears throat> If you promise to never say mind sweat again, I help. Deal? Deal. Actually, yeah, mind sweat sounds rather... Weird. Yeah, I do know what they mean. That's the cleanest janitor card I've ever seen. I think he cleans it after use. Impressive. I keep my mob and bucket clean by not using it. Not surprised. A complete bingo set. It's all here. The balls, the pads, the cage, the markers, and a tiny amount... <laughs> Trout here alive. Number 45. <laughs> Please help. I'm so small. They accidentally packed me away with the bingo gear. <laughs> it's full of deep holes. How is that even possible? It's full of voodoo dolls. That's unsettling. A crate of hard boiled sweets. Flavorless flavor. <laughs> A box of nose and ear hair trimmings. Uh. Oh, we should take some paper in case we need to uh, make notes or trace a gravestone. Don't try to treat me. I know you're taking it because the printer at work hasn't had paper in ages. How am I meant to print our character sheets? You tell me that. 
Um. <laughs> okay, so D <laughs> these two play D and D. Can't say I'm surprised. Wait, hold on. Did they play Power of the Ofrit? Probably. Actually, no. You mentioned. I think in one of the last games cases there was mention of a of them playing a D and D knockoff or something. Yeah, that's why I'm uh, mentioning. But I feel like I remember something like that. A, a wiry mess of old landlines. I, I misread that as landmines here at first. Captain, I need to confess. I did as well. <laughs> uh, a box of dessert puddings. And there's not a box of dessert puddings. <laughs> desert puddings. What's a desert pudding? I don't know. A... Give me a moment. I don't know, a Sahara Misu. I don't know. Uh, Sahara Misu. Okay, it, it's a pun. Yeah, I, I forget how it's actually said, but it ends in uh, Misu as well. It's All a right. sort of layered ice cream cake. All right, let me see this proper then. I don't know, a Sahara Misu. <laughs> and hello, Marco, I see you. <laughs> You misread it as like well. Now I'm just now I'm just picturing a comedy show of a <laughs> of a retirement home for of uh, war veterans, and one of them just constantly landmines the entire hallway. Um, box of literal memories. I better keep it closed in case any leak out. Uh, Self assembly table. There's a note saying, please assemble at your earliest convenience. I guess we should I guess we should do that. How about around the place, you know? You know my thoughts on helping. Okay, I guess we're going to need that. Last but not least. I always wanted to sneak in here, see what wondrous it holds. Well. It does not disappoint. Uh, Dooley is easily impressed. Marco, that would be a pretty funny comedy show. Now, now I'm just picturing Monty Python doing something like that. Actually, they probably have. I have obviously watched a scene from Alpha Busa, but someone has done that, and likely still do it. Uh, Hunter the Parroting. And that now I'm reminded of Faulty Towers, which had an entire episode about a bunch of Germans visiting and them desperately trying not to mention the war and just constantly mentioning the same goddamn war. <laughs> I think that show had only like a dozen episodes, maybe less. <laughs> Marco, why is Grandma on the chandelier? Because she's trying out swinging. Oh dear. Not, <laughs> she got the wrong message. Hail Joy. Need a hand down? Nope. Okay. Anyway, let's finally go visit Dooley's uh, <laughs> grandmother after all of this madness. Oh, so yes, people, that was a wheelchair on that has been on fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it ain't working well. <laughs> has everything calmed out? Uh, out there? Yeah, calmed out? Is ev ugh, has everything out there calmed down? Yeah, it took a lot of work, but it's winding down. Okay, in you come then. A cup of tea, sandwiches immediately. But where did the tea and sandwiches come from? Yeah, it's time to make a little snack while you were looking around into all that rowdy business. Oh well, thanks. I'm a bit peckish. Uh, of course, two servings, one for each. You won't believe where I was recently. Where? Trout of this world. What? Give me a moment. Trout of this world. That place with all their fishes of junk. I thought he was going to talk about how he's been stuck in a freaking other dimension for a year. Oh, oh, okay, now I get it. Now I get it. Yeah. Oh, see any good junk? Let's see. There was a golden shallot. A uh, rush to sow that seemed to harm ballads and a... Oh, and bowling ball! A bowling ball? Nice! Dooley, you've been on a far more exciting journey than that. Not to Nanny. She loves a good bit of yunk. The more mundane, the better. 
It's true. Why, uh, why was the bowling ball there? What's its story? Uh, who has drunkenly tried to use it to commit a smash and grab at a downtown pawn shop? Was it me? Yep. <laughs> okay, this. Okay, yeah, she has a lot of stuff here. And of course, a perfect likeness. Yes, I thought so too. Oh, since uh, since I found it in somebody else's trash. Oh well. <laughs> How the hell? Wait. Uh. Hold on. Julie? Okay, I don't think he would throw out a picture of him and his grandmother. Uh, maybe someone stole it. Anyway. Ah, the old country. I can't. I can't even tell what that is. Is that supposed to be a castle or, or one of those old <laughs> uh, square prisons or something? I think it's a, a grass and a castle. My little Patrick back when he was only seven, seventeen pixels. <laughs> this house had a perfectly good skull. Is that my credit card? I've been wondering where that went. Oh, is it yours? I can't see so well with these glasses. I've just been uh, using it to open the sliding doors when people lock me out. You, you mean your door when you lock you out? You right? Wait, what? Damn you! You, when she you locks mean your door? Out. Let me finish reading. At least I. You mean your door when you lock you out? Right now? Is that grammar error or something? I think so. I'm taking this back. Hey, my guests. I'm like the wind. No door here can keep me out. <laughs> uh, yeah, Marco. Danny is a dumpster diver. There's even some dumpsters outside that if we interact with a dually, will actively say that. I always have to have a pot of... Psy... Psylo... Uh, Psylocybin on hand in case I want to take a trip out of this place. The... <laughs> okay. Nanny knows her drugs. <laughs> yeah, Marco. Oh, it's correct. He's 17 pixels in that picture. Nanny, is that the yo-yo you told me got lost in the wash? What? What? The one you were always uh, playing with and constantly annoying me with? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Creepy doll. No wonder somebody threw, the, uh, yeah, threw out this creepy eyeless doll. Oh, she had eyes when I found her. But then somebody had to learn to keep uh, what they saw to themselves. Uh, yeah, you heard me. Keep your roving eyes on, on me, McQueen. Otherwise... <laughs> uh, but what? Uh... It, it, did she, is she talking about that the doll tried to steal her junk or something? Let's see. If Mystique was so mis uh, mystic, how come I was able to get this ball from her, eh? <laughs> he stole it from... Uh, Wait... She's not only a dumpster diver, she's a kleptomaniac. Yeah, and also you should ask... She said, keep your eyes on me, my queen. Or what? I think she got jealous. Imagine the yellow they don't look it at someone else beside her. I I'm thinking more her stuff. Let's see. Like my trophy collection? I won first place in stealing trophies. More than once, I might ask. Add. Yeah, add. Add, add. Nanny taught... Nanny thought... Uh, bloody heck. Nanny taught me everything I know about underground DJing and illegal raves. This, my hero. What? I had to fight someone for that one. Mysterious one-legged man. I think... I think you've got his other leg, and he had a good reason to fight for it. Whose ashes are these? Grandpa Dooley? No, no, we didn't cremate him. We just sort of left him at the side of the road when he was done. I have no idea who these belong to. I think the name might be Trevor, but it's hard to understand the ghost Constance wailing. They're my ashes now. Deal with it, ghost. And a, okay, I thought that was some sort of fruit, or, but not a brain. Grandpa Dooley, he wasn't even he wasn't even gone when they took this out. We were still married for four years after that. What? Wait, didn't you just say that? Okay, so I think left... I'm just going to leave that at it. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, a family photo. When's the last time you were all together like this? Well... Yep. Yeah, this is fun. It's... But... Yeah, this is fine. It's... It's good. Just like home. Right, gang? Everyone up for a game of sobbing? <laughs> it's a real game, boss! Okay, he might have sustained a few emotion emotional scars during his year in the dark side. Oh dear. I can't wait to play that. I can't wait to play that again this Christmas. Oh, buddy. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you... we already already seen this. Uh, strings seem heavily worn. Too much information! <laughs> and finally... Hello, boys. Thanks for visiting. Sorry it's been so long, Nana. I was away on a special mission. That's okay, Patrick. It's not like I'm sitting around this home waiting out my final days or anything. Phew! I thought you'd be upset or something. <laughs> She's being sarcastic, Dooley. And then they are you. Above ground, thank God. <laughs> Wait till you hear who died. Not that death notices again, man. I don't understand why you love them so much. Well, you know a lot of cranky old cough coughs. You take joy in outliving them. Cough coughs? I'm a lady and choose not to swear. Not because ladies don't swear, mind you. I just wouldn't want to push up the rating. Uh, what's going on around here? I don't know. Everyone's been very much acting not, not acting their age since the postman came this morning. What kind of post did he deliver? Nothing unusual, just a few letters here and there, people's weekly magazines, subscriptions, that kind of thing. Hmm. Okay, maybe he was delivering something else as well. Right. Wait. Hmm? Is that yawn going all the way to the closet? Looks like it. Thought it was about to be a rug, but no, that rug goes all the way to the closet of it unevenly, so it's not a carpet. Why am I picturing just a giant fucking spool of wool in there? Why is this a door ajar? Uh, ah, there's a man in here! Uh, not what I was expecting. Oh, yes, I should have said, the door was open a bit so we could have fresh air. Uh, why do you have a man tied up in, hung up in your closet, nanny? And okay, it's just a, it's just a giant ball. Needles and twine. Those are old needles. Do you want them? Little Patrick is always telling me how you like uh, to stuff random things into your pockets. Oh yes, thanks. Klepto. <laughs> Says the klepto about takes one to know one, man, <laughs> granny. Also, hello. Ah, now Seema's no hissing at people while you're in my room. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> what do I want to know? Uh, who are you? Seema's, the caretaker. I take care of the place, but not in the bang bang ma <laughs> mafia sense that I'll take care. In the men's chairs and water's plants way. Why are you hanging in Nanny Dooley's closet? Trying to get a nap in. Clearly, <laughs> clearly. Being upside down is for uh, my spine. You were a vampire, aren't you? There's the Twilight reference! Yeah, I was to say, he's gonna get it in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> Convincing. Really? It sounds very odd shit to me. Agreed, I was saying that ironically. I see, I didn't have gotten that if he had the voice acting. They, they are just leaning on the fourth wall so heavily they might just tip <laughs> they might just fall out I don't I remember them doing that the much in the previous <clears throat> hey you remember you from the hotel last season okay cool why do we have this sudden feeling I'm being wasting my you know, life chasing monsters man I'm just a guy incidentally hanging upside down in a closet not a therapist 
Goodbye. Are, are we going to need to stake a motherfucker? <laughs> no, he's not Batman. Though there has been at least one vampire Batman. I forget how that works. Why is there a man in your closet? Why are you looking in my closet, eh? Maybe I don't want you to see what in the, <laughs> the men I've hidden there. Maybe that's why they're hiding. Relax, he's, he's there to hide from the ruckus outside. And why is he hanging upside down? For a spine? I don't know. I don't go around asking people about their business. We're a detective. It's literally our business to ask people. And I actually remember uh, something. Some... Go ahead. I've seen a different, ver a one different version of a Batman. In context of a uh, certain animator comedy thing you may have seen. So this Batman is a man in a baseball suit and a baseball bat. <laughs> that animator, yeah. <laughs> I think I've seen that short about how it would be utterly hilarious if a small time quote unquote supervillain goes to Gotham completely unaware of Batman's existence and just goes around robbing places as Bat Bash Man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. That has to have been done at least once, I think. Or will <laughs> happen soon. A self-assembly table from uh, Aika. Or Aiki? Yeah, Aiki. Yeah, Aiki are bad words. Yeah, I was just to say. I look forward to watching you put that together by yourself later on. Come on, Mr. T, your nan made us. Now it gets... It now they get it sent over special from the old country. Should I even ask where that is? Though I think generally when people in America are talking about the old country, it's either... I, I'm likely completely wrong here, but most of the time I believe it means Eastern Europe, maybe even to Italy, uh, depending on yeah, the kind of person you ask. Yes, and you can say generally Europe. Not always. It, it will depend from where they are from to begin with. Yeah. And since we have a castle, possibly somewhere in Europe, but that's as vague we can get. That, that's probably extremely vague. Yeah, that doesn't really narrow it down. Europe with castles. That's castle all over freaking Europe. Yes, exactly. Yeah, but it does look like a, at least a pixelated European castle. So we have a continent. Oh, that's it. Yeah, if if the green had been ye like yellow or brown, I would have said Old West. <laughs> Which would put in the question how old Nanny is. A selection of sandwiches. I'm sure I've got the variety. Why did she, you know, she have all this uh, stuff lying around? Uh, in case her favorite grandson came to visit, obviously. Uh, uh, unusually rude, obviously, in that uh, way. Yeah. I can't believe your nanny was using this to break into you know, rooms through the slide doors. Okay, so I can believe it. Okay. I feel weird. Yeah, me too. In there, I wanted to get into a fast pursuit with a centaur or something. Something thrilling. I did to give up a bit. Wait. I was ready. Uh, I was ready. To... I'm gonna need a water after this. I was ready to give up being a cop and pursue my life long dream of not being a cop. What? It's fading since we left that room. I suspect we need to look into Seamus a bit more. Is he like a party? Uh, is he like a party vampire or something? Why, oh, it's already open. Can we. Yep. Nope. Okay, let. Nanny's knitting needles. For stabbing little boys who would take cookies from the yard. So am I told? <laughs> he speaks from experience. Okay. Sorry, guy, I gotta come in and make sure you're not doing anything dangerous in there. What? Who are you? How did you get in here? Eh, I guess you're in now. No point in trying to chase you out. What do you want? What do you want? 
Why did you pretend to be deaf? Because I don't want to get dragged into everyone's drama out there. It's mayhem, not for me, that nonsense. Why aren't you out causing trouble with the others? I caused all my trouble whenever it was a young lad, just like you two. I'm happy with my lot. No regrets from old Stan. No siree. Okay. Is this a classic It Came From Outside the Ship episode of... A space Hop. Yeah, so that's the one. Wait, hold on. Look at that face. And that face. Special effects yeah, back then weren't yeah, that advanced, so they actually had yeah, they had to have me dragged out of an airlock by a tentacle for this stunt. Yeah, okay, that, he's an old actor. And Wait. <laughs> by actual tentacle, he said. Pretty much. It didn't say it was fake or anything, but that actually... Uh, you know, this city is known to be cuckoo. Yeah, so... and also, look in the closet. Yeah. I was... Okay, first... Wait, I know that image. It's a scene from the classic Space Up episode, Blurry Sky Blob. Yep. Is it guessing all about a blurry blob in the sky? Hmm. <clears throat> You better not be eyeing up my stuff, youngster. I fought off clamier fans than you. That's very little risk of that. That's where the magic happens. Card tricks, boom bending, and disappearing coins. No, that last one is just my dropping money down the back of the bed. <laughs> You're a fan of Space Hop, then? Yeah, you too? Fan of it. I was in it. Wait, you're not? <laughs> Stand the man. The original red shirt. No way. Duly, this guy got killed every week. Then he'd be back for the following week and no explanation. Confusingly worded contracts. That's your explanation. Wow, the magic of show. That would uh, that would actually be hilarious in a Star Trek parody. Just one red shirt that... Basically, Star Trek's version of uh, Kenny from, <laughs> from South Park. Just gets killed every single episode somehow, and he's back would, again the next one. I would not be surprised if that's a thing they do in Orville or something. <laughs> this is a parody of Star Trek that people actually love. I have heard good about that, yeah. Still need to see it myself. So, you want to take that shirt as a souvenir? I have a load of them. One for each death. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> okay. Wait, I just realized something. Uh, Captain, what's the color of your shirt currently? Orange or that purple. Uh, oh, right, yeah, the red one is a coat. So you... It, it's it, more it, orange, I'd say, but okay. It's very dark orange uh, to almost red there, but still. It, you should be safe with a red coat, and uh, it's only dangerous if it's a red shirt, right? Yeah. The, the, that that actually would be a pretty funny subversion of it. Let's have a bunch of red shirts around and just one guy in a red coat, and then the one in the coat dies. <laughs> it's pretty cool that Stan was in Space Hop, eh? I love that show as a team. Did you ever watch it? No, I was too busy dating. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's <really>? a burn. <laughs> okay, McQueen, just jump in there. I don't. You're not going to get any more burns than that. Julie, what the heck? <laughs> uh, we saw that bit before. All right. Okay. Hello, BRB. I'm gonna throw some. Pizza into the air fryer. I should have killed the was... captain. <laughs> what? That is what he said, Marco. Okay. Let's look around for anything else that may have changed. But I did use the word actual by Marco, but the way he worded it sounded like he didn't use the word fake or anything else, but he used a tentacle. And this word is sounds suspicious. I just realized they're too big. They're more suited to picking a big lock. Hmm. No. 
Okay, so a big lock to pick. I don't think we've seen any of those. Also, do you two have any new dialogue? <laughs> I feel like I'm 63 again. Well, uh, well that was a hoot. Hmm. Is it safe to come out yet? Who received post today? Um, a few people. Some of the residents and the caretaker, Seamus. Hmm. On a normal day, where would I find Seamus? He's usually all over the place, talking to the patients and that. He's very good with them, but he mostly works out of the laundry room. What can you tell me about the caretaker? Seamus? He takes care of the place. What, you want me to tell he, me he spends all his time in the laundry room or something? Yes, that's exactly what I want you to tell me. Oh, well, you're welcome. If you need to be out hiding... Uh, Marco, in the Star Trek parody, they could make a janitor named Johnny who gets killed every episode and then comes back the next since they keep cloning him as they're too lazy to clean the ships themselves. That works. <laughs> yeah, that would definitely work. Uh, it's locked. Bernardo, did I hear that right? They actually do that in Orville? Yeah. They could. It does. He's talking more about a potential show or parody, not an actual one. Hmm. All right. And I should actually prepare to uh, get some water. Also, people, I'm still sick. Uh, it's locked from the inside. Wait, can we do a trick? No, we cannot. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to need to look up a... I'm going to need to look up a hint because I'm not sure where to go next. Uh, super Soaker. Dictaphone. Okay. Uh, Red, we already have that. We already did that. Uh, mm -hmm. Storage room, fake position, burning mannequin. Stan's room, laundry closet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gap. Back. Mm hmm. Okay, so we, I'm right about the trick, just not on where to get the paper or something for it. So, back to Nanny's for a moment. Yep. More, more of these? You boys look hungry. Let me get you something to eat. We're okay, we already have these sandwich. Now, now, you're nearly fading away. <laughs> Yay. Uh, oh, I already have the paper. Okay, that was dim of me. There we go. We slide this under like this. And then we poke the door. Okay, the paper is in place. Let's poke this key out. And we got the key. There we go. Let's see what's in here then. I've kind of forgotten about the ominous glow. Wait, does he live in here? Have you seen the rental market? Something cool like this is a find! Cheer up, lab. It can't... Cheer up, lab. It can't rain all the time. What? Uh, wait. <laughs> what? Eric? What? No! It's a SAD lamp. A sad lamp. Also, why, why is the lamp sentient? Uh, why does he... Uh, I, I have no idea. I feel like I should know this reference, but... It shouldn't can't be that robot with red eye, is it? Or a computer Not with red sure. eye? Yeah, that's Hal. Yeah, hmm. it, it'd be weird if it was a Hal yoke. And, let's see, I can't let you do that. I forget the name, but it's not Eric, I think. <clears throat> Anyways. It's a collection of religious icons from a number of fates. 
Garlic? Who keeps garlic on the wall? It's pretty loose, so not this guy anymore. Yoink. Well, a few... It, it used to be a common thing. Looks like an in... Looks like an inversion... What? What? Looks like an inversion shin bar, but without the leg stuff. The cuff. The cuffs. I'm not even sure I want to know. If going by his hanging upside down in your announced closet is anything to go by, that and the lack of bed in here, I think he sleeps on that. Uncomfortable, but impressive. That's kinda. A class photo. Look. It must be Seamus's. Looks like he graduated alone. No, wait. Look at the clothes. There are others there, alright. They're just invisible. The plaque says class of 1809. E. Bathory, C. Orlock, V. <laughs> v. Tapis, Flat Tapis, S. Murphy, C. Count, M. Karnstein, L. The, Li L. the Lion Court? Okay, Tapis, I guess. The other ones. I'm guessing our writers or our characters known as <laughs> vampires or something. And T count what? Is that supposed to be Sesame Street joke or something? Maybe. Also, if <laughs> I know that the whole thing with vampires is that they don't show up in mirrors and such, but their faces are invisible. But it does look it does look like their arms are showing, or at least that's probably sleeves of un underclothing. Uh, M. Kornstein. Hmm. S. Murphy. That's Orsimus, the caretaker. Who? The caretaker. We're in his room. Caretaker? What caretaker? What are you up to, Dooley? The guy in your nan's closet hanging upside down? Not ring any bells, sorry, detective. Okay. And yeah, Mark would agree that it's sleeves. Sorry. A stack of self-help yeah, self books. They look reasonably purchased. Not enough stuff. Socks, pants, vest, and a black cape with a red velvet lining and high collar. Wait, one of those things is not as normal as the others. Oh, there's a set of keys in here. They could be useful. Yoink. <laughs> Smelly keys. I feel like it that scene has had a... I have done once or twice as a joke with you. <laughs> Likely. It's empty, but there are bits of torn up mail all around it. Whatever post he got, he must have thrown it out. It might be important. Okay. Hmm. Also. I like it. It's homely. <laughs> Alright. Instead of dirty, stinky key, oh, those are for the trash cans, or bins. A photo of some floating clothes, invisible people, with the inscription class of the town, yeah. Clove of garlic from Seamus's room. You must love this stuff. I like the olive, but hanging in your room? Even I know that's not normal. Not normal? Normal. Yeah, yeah, I, guess I they think forgot that was a typo. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wrong side of the building. Okay. We need to go up front and to the sides. It's still just trying. I can at least not hold him for persistence. Okay, let's see, let's see what's in these. All at once. Hmm. There's a copy of the Medium Magazine variation here. There's a note attached. Just wanted to share the good news. V. Interesting. Okay. The issue, this issue's main focus seems to be on a film about Dracula that's coming out. Dracula? He's a famous vampire, based off an old European count, Vlad Tepes. Man doesn't ring a bell. Where will I have met him? I mean, you wouldn't have met him. He died centuries ago. Oh, okay, I understand. Right. So, do we go to Europe to arrest him, or is there a TLPD EU spin off show? We're not. We're not arresting him. So, we just let him get away with it? 
Wait, wait, what? It's just a story. Mm, sure, that's what they say about their platypus. But I know it's out there. I'll find you yet, you dog face raccoon. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, now I'm just picturing Dooley meeting Perry the platypus. And just. <laughs> Just having the complete inverse of uh, Doofenshmirtz, where he recognizes uh, Harry when he's not wearing his hat, but when he's we is wearing his hat, he doesn't recognize him at all. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Uh, dear gods. Well, that is just filled with thrown, uh, thrown away teeth. Nightmare fuel? I'm not seeing anything here. What about you, Dooley? Oh, uh, no. You weren't looking, were you? Look, you know I wasn't looking. I know I wasn't looking, but you can't prove anything. So let's move on, yeah? Okay. Also, I would have to say, did I, the one with the teeth? That sounded like something you would actually say. Nightmare fuel. Uh, probably, yeah. I feel like you have been using that as a line of late. Even more? There's no meat in those bones, Boris. You need to eat something. You really don't need... I won't hear no for an answer. Okay, then. This is going to stack up every time we leave and enter. <sighs> what do you want to know? Recognize this? That old lettuce? No, the magazine that, 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 that the lettuce is on. Not mine. I don't really care for the silver screen. There's something here I'm missing. I feel like I have all the pieces, but I just haven't put it all together yet. He's a freaking vampire queen. Oh, garlic, my faith. But it's too late for a snack. Does this mean anything to you? That doesn't you broke into my room and stole something? Yes, clearly apart from that. That was evident. Novelty photo from a fair I went to last summer with some old college mates. That's, it's all fake. Mm. Yeah, we, there is something else we need to do, probably. But I have yeah. no clue, so I'm looking for a hint. Yeah, I'm gonna check on my food. Okay. Seamus. Mm hmm. Yeah, laundry. Yeah, that's good. Mm hmm Like some evidence, piece them together, check out the closet ones more. Thrown something away. Yeah, the trash bins. Oh, wait, do I need to... Ah, there we go. Wait, Vlad Tepes? That must be V. Tepes from Seamus' class photo. He's getting a film made about his life. Maybe there's something to do with all this? Let's grab Seamus. There we go, now it's evidence. Uh, again? We don't need any more, thanks. <laughs> uh, let's see, Marco. It's like when Perry go uh, was uh, going to do uh, Deuce as a plumber. Perry the Platypus plumber takes up the belt. Perry the Platypus, and then the joke afterwards is that... Is, is, <laughs> is life really that hard for you right now? Uh, I really should... Uh, we should put that show on the to-watch list, because... I didn't think too much of it at the time, but yeah, I'm learning more and more afterwards that it is absolutely hilarious. Yeah, here's the thing. I have seen a bit, but here's the problem. I only like the platypus part. And here's the show. I don't care for the other two. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I don't... I, from, what, from what I have seen, the constant attempts at exposing them to their mother by their sister, yeah, that, that did uh, yeah, not work for me. As it is, from what I feel like when I saw that, I feel like they made the wrong show. They should focus on the platypus, not the kids. <laughs> Anyways, speak for yourself. Okay. Why is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula sending mail? Is Dracula real? Uh, are you are you a vampire? I mean, define vampire. Lots like a monster. First of all, monster is a loaded term. And other vampires drain blood. That's just sequinarians. 
They are emotional vampires too, and reverse versions of both. I am a reverse emotional vampire. People feel what I feel. Wait, wait how does a reverse wait. sanguinarian work? Wait, wait. We have heard of this for the first game. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was talking about reverse vampires in a book or something, yeah. Okay, now I'm kind of impressed they actually followed up on that. And <laughs> Marco agrees with you. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, fairly disgustingly, at best it's a guy in an alley offering you a sack of blood. Uh, I don't want to know what the worst case is. So wait, if you're a reverse emotional vampire and everyone here is acting up... When Vlad sent me his film stuff, I started thinking, am I doing... Uh, what am I doing with my life? Everyone else is so famous and respected. I'm just this caretaker, you know? Maybe I need to change what I'm doing, you know? You're having a mid on life crisis, so everyone here is having one too. Yeah, sorry about that. Not much I can do to change it. Okay, Dooley. All we need to do is cheer this guy up and everyone will stop acting like loons. <laughs> yeah, we really need to put something away. Yeah. Okay, well, we made one step of <laughs> progress, but. What do we need? What the heck do we need to do now? One step forward and two steps back. Uh, actually, I don't know the lyrics. I don't know what. The, I heard that line somewhere. I don't know where it could be from. Not a clue either. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on, Marco. I really, I really let me heal read that. Yeah, oh, cheers. See, see that? Let's see, Marco. Wouldn't the reverse vampire be <laughs> called a? <laughs> The Rip Fam. Now we're ma there's an actor, or is it an act either a fictional or an actual actor called Rip Fam Dam or something? But I feel like I heard that name as well. I just hmm. don't know if that's about fictional or real actor as well. Right. Hello, boys. Thanks for visiting. Did you know he was a vampire? Was? He still is a vampire. Anyway, at my age, you learn that none of that stuff matters. It's just nice to have a friend. And there's one undepressive vampire. I don't know, thrown him a party with other friends and loved ones? That might work, actually. But where? Everywhere around here is a mess. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, where? Actually, there is one place that's been reasonably untouched. Bandstands. And it's specifically for throwing parties. Hmm. It's red, but it doesn't really pass for a carpet. We need to find something more carpety. Okay. And now I'm gonna try to up my pizza. It's so yeah, the party. My pizza carpet will not work on this. Okay, send it would work, but not with the crust. Okay. I uh, need to jazz the place up. You need food for Seamus, tea for drinking, red carpet, make it look like daytime to get Seamus to come there. Okay, well, we have plenty of food. It's not oh, how it now works. I get it. it. Says he's a reverse vampire, that means he loves garlic. Yep. Hmm. Okay, food for Seamus. Uh, set up a table. Hmm. I need to find a specially shaped tool to assemble this. Uh, and then... Hmm. Actually, a question for you, Hill, while I remember this. No. What is your favorite Digimon, if you could pick one? Hmm, bit of a hard... I think you asked this one during a Digimon stream as well, and it's a bit hard to pick since there's like a thousand or something. Yeah, hmm. maybe you, one doesn't even know it exists yet. Yeah, could as well be. Uh, Self-assembly table, yes. Hmm. Well, here's an example for what I learned one before stream even. Dimitromon. I picked the Metro Sodon. 
that cyan salem things on the neck with a bow tie. Okay. Yeah, that one also caught me off guard. It looked cool, but the bow tie just... Huh? Okay. Hmm, let's her back on in the staff room. The snoring has stuff too. I didn't want to say, but that's that that's snoring, right? It was something else. <laughs> no wonder everyone is off their rocker. The real mystery is probably sleep deprivation. <laughs> okay, who do we have in here? Uh, really? Doctor, any opinions on what's happening here? Happening here? Everything's in pretty normal to me. What? Everyone is acting like wild teenagers. How can you think that's normal? Teenagers are pretty wild, man. Yeah, but old people aren't. You just said they were. You're making no sense. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the resident medical expert, after all. I mean medical expert, surely? I meant what I said. Now let me go back to my nap before I make a voodoo doll out of all these parking tickets I've made by my pocket. Oh, that's why they had a box full of voodoo dolls. A strange set of, you know, yeah, a set of strange looking keys? They're mine, my hex keys. I use them to curse people and build flat pack furniture. Now, since you're going to need them, so you can have them if you promise to bring them back. So that was not no need but to finish you with things to you? Yeah, look, let's see. I don't think we. All right. I don't think we have ever deterred. Shaduli. Of course we'll bring them back. Right, more, yeah, right back. As soon as we're done. It sounds that you won't. Oh man, this guy's spooky. Did it? <laughs> didn't he? In the last episode, say that he expressly goes around returning stuff. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> This is, this is like the podium back at the station, except it doesn't have McQueen Smooch's books carved onto it. But McQueen Smooch's book? Oh, okay, I'll get it. God damn it, McKing. Yeah, McKing. Uh, this is, this is a sign of good writing, when there is definite subtext going on, and you can read it as clearly as if it was spelled out to you. Seems to be the staff rota. Some post-its, too. Sue says the next coven meeting has been moved as the community hall was booked by the local Illuminati chapter. Wang Rang to say he's out of uh, Yang... Yang Lang? Find practice uh, voodoo doll. Martin says he's all pins and needles since the last session, and not in a good way. Eh, there could be anyone's private, by the way. Notes. Right. Somebody left the toolbox here. Now Seamus was trying to fix the vending machine. He must have forgotten to tidy up in all the chaos. I wonder if there's anything of interest in here. Oh, maybe the screwdriver? Screwdriver? More like a steak driver, am I right? You know he's a vampire, right? That's really offensive. I realized as soon as I said it, I feel terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've all been there. We think of a joke that's funny, but once we say it, then it turns out it's horrible. Like one we had, one like one I confessed to re having the idea for recently. Yeah, that's an example. Wait, there's no food in here. It's just clean socks, religious tomes, and rhyming couplet predictions. Ah, damn things bust. Listen, the brown, uh, the brown cloaked man will get this place out of a jam with a gift. Spirits will be lifted. Sure, it's accurate, but those are some dirty rhymes. Jeez. <laughs> Normal visiting hours are almost done, which means it's almost con conjugal time. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Actually, wait. Uh, uh, I'm gonna look conjugal. Wait. <clears throat> <I'm gonna laughs> <laughs> Various yes, notices for staff. Anyway, Please don't smuggle the elderly out of raves. Stop stealing dentures, we're going to find you. Practicing witchcraft on or for the patients is frowned upon. 
<laughs> of course they don't say. They'd, of course they'd say that. A large white, uh, white rug like fro. What kind of animal is this? The unclassified kind. I killed that baby when I was on my Erasmus scholarship to the lost city of Z. Doink. You like it? You can take it home with you if you'd like. Made a little gift to you. Thanks, also, but it's him. Go ahead. Thanks, but it's him who's more like. Thanks, it's more. Ah. Thanks, but it's him who's more into taking items. There we go. Oh, he cannot have him. It, it's not for him. Also, Dooley, shouldn't you have handed that off already? I wouldn't drink that. I'm building up my tolerance for uh, of Eitzler for a trip to Midgard. <laughs> And we've seen what that does in, uh, in, the tomb, in the last Tomb Raider games we streamed. It's... Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we can make it a table now. One of Alan's hex keys. A Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, I was looking in the book. What's wrong with Philip's head that? What's wrong with Philip's head that he needs a special screwdriver for it? That joke was labored and weird. It's funny you know that it has been called out. I don't know. I think Dooley's head could use a screwdriver. A right rug made from an animal. It's mystical, so no pixel bears were harmed in making it. White carpet seems to like the gravitas we want. Hmm. Okay. Actually, no. no. There. It seems to be the right piece needed to build this. Let's give it a go. Hey, the wood is not in my book. Give me a second. Oof. I was unable to read that. Yep. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I <laughs> I had to ban a little sp uh, spammer. <clears throat> right, let's see what we have here. Some legs, a top, and a few holding together bits. Does that have to follow the instructions to a some... Okay, so the instructions are in Swedish. No problem. I'll just use the picture. Easy, right? Come on! <laughs> I was tormented by this meme on the uh, history. I have not seen this movie for this... Word came from. It's not a even word here. It's just a sound. Uh, if it's, it's actually become a fake Swedish word. <laughs> there we go. One borked table ready for use. I would have honestly been surprised if they. <clears throat> I would have honestly been surprised if they, <laughs> if they had an entire set of instructions in Swedish. And I just realized something. Something that's been hinted at since the start of this. I also realized something. <laughs> if you take off the dots over the ö, uh, it says borked. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not a mere word. It, they just sweetness fight uh, not a word already. <laughs> Ugh. In you go, shirt. Sorry to do this to something so valuable, but Stan did say he had a load of them. I just need something to die. It's a tight fit, but it's in. I think that's it. Now to turn it on. Now the shirt and rug are in here, so it's time to turn it on. I don't think I've ever actually had any clothes that mix you know, their colors or anything. It's actually... It actually took a bit. Okay, that turned the rug red. That's carpety, right? Well, here, there's a reason. Most clothes nowadays won't do that anymore. Okay. But it's still will sell you... Yeah, washing things <laughs> for uh, clothes that still do that sense. There are some people that didn't have those older shirts that somehow still survive to this day. Yeah. So not an award ceremony without a red carpet. Okay. Uh, do I put these... That's not how it works. A table, <laughs> which I assembled myself. Right, let me 
assuming I'm a pizza crust there. <clears throat> With new things to me, and I'm not ashamed of it, so you can take your passive aggressive tone elsewhere. Thank you and goodbye! Okay, I, I actually reasonably enjoy putting IKEA stuff together. Not entirely too sure. Yeah, maybe because it's actually sort of just bigger Lego with less steps. Yeah. Uh, people, I don't know, but uh, here, here's the thing. I would feel it weird if IKEA shipped the furniture out uh, of the country with Swedish manuals. I feel like that's weird. Like, I get if you do it to all the Swedes, since, well, they speak Swedish. Of course. But out, if you ship them out country, at least. At least they do it in other languages as well, then. Yeah, that's like why the... Spanish. Yeah, the manuals are wordless anyways. So... Okay, it, I guess it they... Would be, it would be utterly hilarious, though, if they did send them out with a, an extra set of instructions in Swedish. It would be... I would be <laughs> impressed if they actually had a Swede to then write it for them. The table is ready. Yep. Okay, I had this idea already earlier, but well, <laughs> the table is now actually set for it. There. I need to slur out Siemens, and I'm not convinced they'll do that unless I make them more. Oh, there. Dance for a party without finger foods for the guest of honor. <laughs> Garlic sandwiches. I've, I, I've actually taken to. Uh, Adding some uh, some garlic to my sandwiches every now and then. Just run a bit, run a, run a clove through a press, and then just spread it out a bit. I I like it. I don't like. I like garlic as spice, or sometimes add the input as marinade and all that. I just garlic on itself, no. But I have been tempted, strangely enough, to want to add onions to food. Okay. I used to hate that. The smell of these should lure uh, Seamus out to the courtyard. We have to add a bonus of disappointing everyone else. But it wouldn't disappoint me. We'll lay the augmented sandwiches out here. And then we need one... Do we need the tea there as well? Yep, yeah, we'll put the tea here to lure out the residents. Okay. A bandstand. What a nice thing to have here. An out carpet for this evening's festivities. I think that might be it. Let me guess. No. Okay, the infinite amount of sandwiches and tea has stopped finally. <laughs> so, vampires are real. Yeah, but the media totally blows things out of proportion. Like Vlad. Vlad the Impaler? Just a mishearing. He was called Vlad the Unveiler. He was always opening schools and <laughs> hospitals. He probably only signed off on the movie rights to open medical centers with the royalties. And that we'll get. Count count, though? Now there was a monster, constantly laughing at children as they st struggled to count. Jesus wept. <laughs> that is the freaking Sesame Street count. I called mm. it accidentally? Again? <sighs> I've heard of reverse vampires. Ugh, those damn books, I hate them. Is it because they falsely portray your kinds? Yeah, they're pretty spot on, actually. I love the daytime and garlic and all that. I just hate them because it, you know, if I had written them, I'd be doing as well as the other, others now. How do we cheer you up? Thanks for the kind intentions, but just leave me to wallow in my wasted life, yeah? yeah you were out pretty late in, at that motel. I thought reverse vampires liked the daytime instead of the night. Yeah, but it was on holiday, so I stayed up late to get some moon rays. Where do you think this delicious creamy past <laughs> pasty this comes from? Goodbye. Uh, okay, how do we actually lure you out now? So where do we need the screwdriver for? Do we need... Wait, do we need to... Oop, click out of the game again. Do we need to get his quote-unquote bed out of there? Uh, no. What do we need the screwdriver for? And I just realized something else about him being a reverse vampire. Instead of being repelled by religious iconography, he's attracted to it. That's why he has was, a bunch in there. I was just about to say that as well. 
Okay. It's hard to talk when you have food in your mouth, though. All right. Uh, last step is make it look like daytime. Uh, how to get? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. There. The disco lights. They seem pretty screwed into place. Screwed. Screwdriver. Let's get this down before it falls on somebody. There we go. Disco lights. Now I'm reminded of Disco Elysium, or rather, the song that Miracle of Sound made about that game. It's a really good one, if you ask me. Then, like, like 90% of his work is really good. If I touch the lights yeah. here, they won't cover the... Okay. We need to put them up higher. And there. And there. Okay, at least they're making the car bounce with the hydraulics and not something else. If we angle these lights like this, we should be able to light up the garden. It should be bright enough to pass uh, to pass it for daytime. I was just about to take a right there. Detective, how are the Detective, how are they powered? What? The light! How are they powered? It's not batteries, right? And there's nowhere to plug them in, so how are they working? Too lame. No, I mean! Okay with it, but but what? Look, if you're gonna... Look, if you are go... Oh, no, no. Look, if you're okay with them magically working, who am I to call you on it? I'm just saying it's weird that we he, we chase one thing for being magical, and we chase another, another, and sometimes we need to find power, and sometimes stuff just works. It's all very inconsistent, isn't it? What are you getting at? It's got lazy! <laughs> Print screen. Ah, uh, Dooley. I don't have time for this. We have to underpress a reverse vampire to save all these old people from reliving their midlife crises. Reprise. Okay, when I say it out loud like that, yeah, I reckon God might be winging it. <laughs> uh, I think everything is in place. I can already see a crowd of Click to be the early. Yum tea. All the better for being free. Pass me a sandwich. It's so bright out. Do these taste of garlic? What's all this? I, I got the smell of some delicious garlic sandwiches. I saw it was daytime and figured I should eat something. A surprise party. A thanks for everything you've done to help these people. Like an award ceremony. Best, uh... Best friend category, the world's a little easier with best with a best friend. Yeah, that's it, buddy. That it is. That it is. Oh, how lovely. Where's the reward, uh, reward then? Uh, oh. Oh, right. Uh, Patrick has it. Yeah, of course I do. Do I? <laughs> yes, the gift I asked you to bring. It was an award for Seamus. No, you boys have put on this show to save the day, but we actually really did get him a award. <laughs> of all the freaking chances. <laughs> we know he's a reverse vampire, and because of that, we're really enjoying our time here. We feel his uh, love for us. So we got him an actual award to say thanks. It's not a movie deal, but we hope you like it. Aw, you guys. Three cheers for Seamus. Hooray. <laughs> He's only getting one in a cheer. We don't have time to be reading ourselves. Now, you boys, come to my room. I have a letter for Patrick. Okay, so besides a kleptomaniac, a dumpster diver, I think Nanny may also be a clairvoyant. Patrick, you have to go to Ireland. What now? I, we could have guessed from the last name, I presume, but... That confirms where their old country is, then. Family tradition. All duelies have to do a coming-of-age ceremony. I presume they didn't invite you because, you know, American. But it turns out the invite got mixed in with the love letters from your grandpa. I was reading them earlier today when Seamus was feeling down. Yeah, I'm too old you know, to go with you. I hate traveling. So you'll need to bring someone else. You come, detective. 
Of course, Dooley. Yeah, he looks like the tr- Yeah, he looks like the Trouble Brothers are going to Ireland. The Trouble Brothers? Yeah, is that not what we call ourselves? It's what I call us. Anyway, to Ireland! Okay. And he have been, I do, he have been trying to sound Scottish to Irish, and I've been actually right. Just, I, I will admit, I been, my accent for Irish and Scottish is not good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm horrible at it. Okay. But it's a try. Phase three, Druid's delights. On Nanny Dooley's request, Patrick and I are going to the clan's ancestral home in Ireland. Okay. I have no idea what sort of gags we're going to run into here. Well, Dooley, in 307... Yep. yep. In 307 hours, our flight will have landed in Ireland. Are you excited? What kind of route are you f flying? Sort of. I'm kind of nervous to meet my Irish cousins. What if they are not as smart or well informed as I am, and we can't hold conversations? Um, hmm. Let's just go in with an open mind, yeah? Oh, he sounded extremely American there. Oh, that's why they're not taking a... F they're not taking a flight. Wait, are, are, are you actually going to cross the damp ocean on a fishing trawler? Or not even a fishing trawler, it's just a fishing boat. How did we end up on a boat? We were in an airport in the last screen. The castle is on Lau uh, Dule, remember? Lake, <laughs> Lake Dule, we transitioned off screen. Smart. 307 hours would have been one hell of a low time. It, it, it is for the fact that uh, the, this, yeah, this, yeah, the previous game is, had already set up everything to be rather loony, because otherwise all of this meta humor would have been a bit grating. <clears throat> Barnacle Murphy? I won't bring you any closer to the cursed castle. Well, it's inland, so you can't really bring us any closer. I can't, and I won't. We're on our own, Dooley. Let's go to the castle. Let's see. That's the antenna I used to broadcast my pirate radio station from. What I can tell you, you're not cop. Yeah, you're not cops here. <laughs> True, they, we don't have jurisdiction. Wait, hold on, hold on, Dooley. Why do you still wear your uniform? Good point. <laughs> and hello, Seal? The boat name. I, uh, it was meant to be a placeholder name, but I never got around to changing it. Well, it's a fine boat. Aye, I even got her running on biodiesel. How very, how very thoughtful of you. Huh? I just did it to stop the seal glaring at me from, <laughs> slick, fi from slick filled water. Ron? But you and I this seal have a history, don't you? I misread that name. I misread it to Rom. <laughs> okay, from now Rom has a seal. But here's the thing I noticed of late, especially this month and the month last month. You and me are misreading a lot of things to Rom. Yeah. And it started. <laughs> With Warcraft, uh, he, he has been more—he uh, has been more present uh, lately with streams and such. So that's probably helping. Likely. <laughs> also, I'm, I'm now reminded of a game I heard about recently—a game called, uh, what was it named again? Name pending or something? Basically, a sort of. Uh, <clears throat> A sort of Stanley Parable game mixed with uh, 
that long as named game we showcased once and filled, finished up in one game where you're basically wor working behind the scenes of an actual game. That might be interesting to take a look at sometime if I can find the name again. Oh. Pat no, not patent pending. Yeah. No, 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 it's similar to that, but mixed in with Stanley Parable, apparently. Hmm. Anyways. Why are you calling it an accursed castle? Because we're yeah, because perfectly nice castle is not so good for tourism. People want their castles cursed, that's a fact. Good point, actually. Uh Roman? <clears throat> Pardon? And there you go, that was the last slice. Do we have a moment with a cross? Okay. Okay, let's see. A grand day for drying some clothes. That. Yes, uh, not really. Is that a sweat lodge? Sweat lodge in this economy? I mean, in this weather? Does he mean like a sort of sauna or something? Or am I just miss, uh, missing something? Look, I'll see you. How are you getting out there, little bud? Oh, wait, how are uh, you getting on there, little bud? I can't stand the rain. I hear ya. It never rains back home. Dooley, it rains about 40% of the time back home. Exactly. I'm waxing lyrical for the old country. You leave me and my rose tinted glasses alone. Oh, so no response to the seal singing? Hmm. <clears throat> Dooley, did you bring your gun with you? Wasn't allowed, but I felt naked with an empty holster, so I took my speed gun. Anyone get high around? It will get high around me, and I knew about it. Phrasing? Oh. Different kind of phrasing. At a different kind of speed, Dooley. Okay. We can actually get in here. Nice picture frame you have there. Shame if somebody was to put a picture in it. Yep. Yoink. <laughs> so the kleptomania starts again. Postcards, uh, postcards from Derry, Dingle, Dundalk, and more. One for every port in Ireland. Wow, this guy has seen it all. Okay. Whoa, look out there, detective! You can see the last screen from a whole new angle. Really? My knees feel weak. I wonder what I wonder what would happen if I push. Don't you dare! I wish the carpet, not carpet, not carpet. I wish the captain let us travel in here and not out on that wet deck. Okay. Also, yeah, I'm going to presume that they did take a flight and then they had to just take a boat to get here, anyways. Uh, enter? It's so dark in here. Hello? Ah, oh, there you are. Fiona met something. <laughs> That's true, I am here. They're here. Bring this back to Ian. Not what I ordered at all. Good lass, off you hop. Luscious. Sp spirits? A, bo a bottle of ghosts, I presume. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, I was uh, taking a bite of my pear. Pear. Not pear, pear. <laughs> I don't eat wood. <laughs> Le leave the docks alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a metal image for you. <clears throat> It will explain why the harbor master sent it back. Uh, 
what I get the feeling we made this joke before. Oh, wait, I just realized. I think we use a bottle instead of a lamp to capture something. <laughs> One empty picture frame. When you hold it up, it shows my favorite picture. Everything. Okay, that's surprisingly art. different, Julie. <laughs> what? Really? You think I'm thick? Yeah, that's what I saw. Uh, that I'm somehow sitting here in the dark using a gray light from the wind, uh, using the gray light from the window to do my work and not noticing the broken lights. I don't have time to fix it. I'm swamped with paperwork. A whole boat came in today. Keep your ting uh, tingly digits to yourself. This phone is for official harbor business only. Hands off this official harbor master business. Why harbor master and not harbor mistress? Well, because Harbor Mistress sounds like I'm going to tie your boat up with rope instead of bureaucracy. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Yeah, I think I think that's the kind of reason to... Yeah, I think Mistress has been a word that's associated with a certain kind too often. Either about nobility or the kink thing. Yeah. Oh, it's my turn. This place is cozy. It reminds me of some apartment in the city back home. And actually, it's probably, even, it's it, probably bigger than some apartments. Actually, I think, about it, I think Master is actually unisex. Yeah. Within context. Like, as a title, yes, unisex. Especially if you're Master at something. But as a nobility title, then Master is man and Mistress is woman. Yep. And that's for nobility title. I can't see much through here while the power is off. A broken generator. I guess it needs some kind of fuel. Where am I gonna find that out here? Hang out behind an old metal box in the rain, trying to get a generator up and running. It's like kindergarten all over again. What? Make that sec. Make that too. Here's the phone line. The main way out of this town, four words. Okay, there must be a there must be a, a transmission tower somewhere around. Let's go take a look. A mac, really? We're just going to get air mech everything, huh? Oh, look, the cabin has kittens sleeping in it. Sorry, but maybe she was the pair? Pair? <laughs> Leave the dock works alone. The harbor master has enough trouble as it is. Nom nom nom. Do you think is it their boat? It's your logical conclusion. Also, okay, MC I think is Irish is what is M A C that it's Scottish. I think Irish mostly use O. Uh, we have to double check this and maybe even ask an Irish friend about this. We'll have to see you. Where nobody can remember your name. Isn't that. I, I'm pretty sure that's a song lyric. Cheers. The series Cheers, uh, Captain. Okay. Painting of a castle. Look! That's where we are going! You're off to Castle Dooley? I hear it's cursed. Haunted, I hear. No, you two, it's got a mad cult in it. We're all wrong. It's infested with the good folk playing pranks on everyone who visits. I don't love the sound of any of that. You say... You say you don't love it, well, but what I hear is you don't hate any of it either. Well, I do like a bit of strangeness. <laughs> He'd be out of work if there wasn't any. What's all this? I would like to frame foreign money. It's also mad looking. Where do you get it all? Ah, I buy it. You've no US money. I'm pretty sure they don't have money. As I hear it, the streets over there are paved with gold. Uh, can you call us a taxi, please? Ian McTavern? <laughs> uh. Nope, we don't have phones in the pub. Pubs aren't a place for talking to people who aren't in the pub. It does have a bit of a point, though they typically do have one at least. 
Only mildly greasy sandwich, fierce greasy chips, and blindingly greasy fry. Still not the worst menu I've seen. He's he's probably seen worse on the dark side. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> uh, I, I, we just get this game, don't we? Meanwhile, while Vakira's choking. <laughs> Wait, a moment, I hear something. <laughs> uh, well, that's a clip. I really need to keep an eye out for whatever games these guys make next because <laughs> they're just really freaking funny. Yeah, sorry, I got called off and was told to keep it down a bit. But yeah, I said to, uh, to my mother, yeah, I must well, I got a little bit loud, even turn my head away from the mic, not to get too loud in the mic. But yeah. The yeah. sound like it could be bad for my throat, and yes, I was coughing because of that. Mm. Uh. All right, let's see now. Hmm. Do I want a mugging, a very real and literal haunting, or a flaming kick to the nuts? What? So many delightful options. If it helps any, my foot is already aflame. <sighs> okay, so now we know he did not stay on one spot the entire year. Yeah. We have everything from whiskey to whiskey. What's the difference? The spelling, mostly. I missed also, that when I was opening the door, but I closed it for some damn reason. Also, we would like to return this. The uh, harbor master wanted me to give you this. Said she ordered something less harsh. Alright, so I guess you wouldn't want to be drinking on the job. Here, give her this instead. You want this bottle back? I, I've no want for that. You all want it. A, a pint? A pint of the black stuff. What does that mean? Is it a pint of the inky void between the stars? Or is it the wintry morning? In... Wait, or is it the wintry morning contained in a glass? Or maybe it's the shield of a cold wind... wind on top of a cloud-shrouded mountain. Speaking of inky, she's been sleeping on the bed, but not in an interference... Uh, she's not interfering, so... Yeah, the, the button hasn't been pressed. I get to reach all of those things and more. Uh, <laughs> what? Long from all that laughter. The waxy gargle. What do you want? I was passing by. Thought we'd say hello. Passing by, is it? So good to stay, are you? Typical tourists. Say they love the place, but when it comes down to it, they still pack their bags and go home. Well, we have lives, work, and family. Are you saying we don't have lives, work, and family here? You think I was chiseled out of a block of marble? I... No, I wasn't. I was born. I have a family. I live here. I even have a job. You're not better than me. Please, detective, you really are such a tourist. <laughs> hmm. Chips are in my you know, top 15 favorite ways to cook potatoes. Can't talk. Mouth's full of scalding hot chips. Chips? They call fry chips and chips are called crisp. I don't know what they call crisp. Wait, I don't know what we call crisp. Do we call? Either way, let's get to the harbor master her less alcoholic drink. Is this what you wanted? 
Oh, sweet savior, Christ divine, that take the edge of a bad day. I've always said you and I had each other's backs. Could I, I could I ask anything of each other? We could. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's the spirit, or rather, it's not. <laughs> Christ, I'm funny. I know what you're thinking. Does the carpet match the curtains? Well, no. It's, it's a, this is a tight wee box, and the carpet would only get soaked, so it's smooth flooring for me. <laughs> oh, dear. That's one way to get that joke in. Uh, but I, was I too loud earlier when I was laughing so much? No, I, I think it I think I, I think it actually got blocked out by the mic. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Uh, can I use the phone now? I'd love to help you, I really would, and no word of a lie. We're best friends after all. Friends who can ask anything of each other, right? I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's just the generator out back is broken. And the person who'd fix that? Well, I'd let, uh, I'd let them call whoever they wanted. Fine. I've always said you wanted the good ones. You, post-delivery <laughs> post girl. Haven't I, say, I always said that? It's true, she always said that. Uh, the only reason you're saying that, Dooley, is because she might be your cousin or something. I doubt that, for do I see he would not be blushing earlier? Let's see. Look at the dead eyes. Seagulls are the sociopaths of the bird world. I agree. The castle, too far to walk. I guess we need a cab or something. Let me check my American to Irish dictionary. I think they are called move boxes here. I think he got a yoke book. Dogs, screen one. Pretty clear. Hmm. Actually, he doesn't have American money, so... Can you change this money into something local? Why would I want, why would I want to do that? So that have useless money. Oh, I see. I'll... A collection of the finest American dollars. The exact amount needed for a holiday and not an American penny more. There. Okay, let's frame this money. Sure thing, Detective. Are we putting weed in its locker or sticking its fingerprints at the crime scene? What? Not that kind of framing. Dooley! <laughs> I have framed all of our American money. We are also broke now. So, I am American. Sounds right. You can always spot an American by them telling you when asked that they are American. Right, well, we have money, you see? Are the streets? The, go the golden pavement. That was a free gold rush. Now we have overcrowding streets with no pavements and paper money. I'm sorry for your loss. And I framed some for you. Some framed American money to sell. Alright, well, to quote the great philosopher Bixby Sn uh, Snyder, I'd buy that for a dollar. But an Irish dollar, a punt. I shall not regret giving away all of our holiday money. No, not a single bit. What? One I Really? Well, they better go find an ATM somewhere after this, or it's going to be a very short vacation. This is a nice crown, though. Irish money. Every coin is made of gold and the size of a dinner plate. They all have stacks, not, in, not into them. What? Uh, gold? Wait, so we could, we could bash someone's head in with this? That doesn't look like gold to me. Yeah. What can I do for you? What can I do you for? Tell me about Bud Smarter, please. A Budweiser. <laughs> or it helps you make better choices when picking friends. Chaps out, detective. Moving on. Dooley, are you trying to... Uh... Bud Light? What's that? Pudding is a sort of blood sausage. Well, if you squeeze the meat juice out and let it sit a while, you get this. I think I just got sick in my mouth a little. That's not the only way you can make frickin' pudding. What's the deal with stellar assault? I, I don't get the reference with that one. Uh, one drink and you'll be swinging punches at the moon. Believable. I already have a beef with that guy. What? I had nothing. Police code. Okay. Let's see. Can we actually 
It's just a gray haze. I'm not sure walking is a great idea. Let's see. Okay, there's something we need to do then. We need to get the drink. They'll be acting the maggot with it. What? Hmm. Okay, how can you fix this thing? Uh, are we really going to... I can't just put spirits in there. It needs proper fuel. Hmm. Is there anything I'm missing? Hmm. Can you call us a taxi, please? Nope, we don't... Yeah, we've already seen that. I'm not sure what else we can really do. Uh, do you have gas I could have? Gas? What? I thought from my dictionary, they call it petrol or diesel if they are sheep. I have diesel, I made it myself in the bowels of the ship. Can I have some? I'm out. Need more fatty oils and pure alcohol to make some. Find me that stuff and I'll sort you out. Well, we do have strong spirits. What's all this for? Are you asking me to marry you? No. Oh. I thought maybe you could turn this into fuel for the generator? That's only half of what I need. What, do you want, do you want me to solve the puzzle for you? Like, you send a sea, come some, yeah, some kind of sea sleuth? You need to bring me fatty oils and pure alcohol. Find me, uh, find me that and I'll sort you out with some biofuel. Fatty oils. Is that biodiesel button close enough? Uh... Look, I see it. All right, we have done this. Nil since Okay. Was he was he trying was he trying Iris there or something? Might be. Hmm. Okay, let me take a look for where to get bath then. Uh harbor. Wait a minute, a singing se It might not be a seal. Okay, a Greece. Fish? Oh, uh, okay, here's maybe Hillian. I think we just had a clue. No. Yeah. I think this seal may be a sail key. Good point. Hmm. I guess I just gave you that. Yeah, I suppose hoping we, uh, I could pay you to order us to ta a taxi with it. We have no phones here. No phone here. There be phoneless. Be this place, etc. <laughs> No, I'd make you know, I'd make a pig's ear out of that. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. We there. Bowl of chips. Can I take your grease paper? Mark yourself out, mates. Need me to knock you out, Captain? No. Please, no. <laughs> Greasy grease paper. Grease soaked paper from the flies. Ship detective, when in Rome. When in Rome? When in Rome, they call it ships. No. This isn't Rome. We're a few thousand kilometers away from that. What's all this for? What? Uh. Uh, need to combine it? Yep. Uh, a false smelling concoction made of oils and liquor. I'm not even going to try and say that. Also, we got a cap. A steel bottle cap. We only need a few more and we can buy our uh, very own Brahim... Brahim... Fallout joke? Oh, wait, no. Yes, Fallout <laughs> joke. Wait, are you brought an actual... Breed a cow? Not sure. Either way, what does this do? Sure, paint the black there while I do my mischief. As you wish. 
<laughs> Here's your biodiesel. Enjoy. As if, right? An almost certain, or at least somewhat illegal bottle of homemade fuel. Okay, then we pour this in there. That should have the power back on for Fiona. Hopefully now she'll let us use her phone line to call us a, uh, to call a cab. Say detective. Didn't we say taxi before? Okay. We're, I thought we'd have to lock that off with the uh, with the cap or something. Wait, you said it again, Nilsheen. Yeah. You know, no clue what that means. But probably something like no can do or something. Now oh, you did it. You fixed it, Jenny. You have light and heat again. I feel like the Queen of Tara. Uh, que the Queen of Tara. You can use the phone to call your harlots now. I'm not calling harlots. I need a taxi. Don't worry, I won't tell your wife there. Tell me what? Bonus fix, time to call her for a taxi. Yeah, so why does she keep calling Dooley or her? Or is that just insulting him, is it? Yep. Why'd you call them? <laughs> D.O.P.D., what's your problem? I need a taxi. In Ireland. And only notice one number. <laughs> Ugh, McQueen. Oh, detective. I knew this would happen. There should be one outside McTaverns for you in a few moments. Wait, so I didn't have to do all this stuff? Oh, man. <laughs> Seems like we have another clairvoyant. Okay. Can we have a lift to the, tax uh, the, to the castle, please? Not for free, you can't, you, you, you can't shrug. Oh, we've got this. Can you take us to the castle for this? <laughs> That's the stool that Daisy sat on in your hop. Oh, Luke the taxi. With... Also, nothing with the speedboat? Okay. Maybe later? Uh, yeah, Luke. <laughs> is, it, is that supposed to be Luke the taxi driver? Or is, is this just a puppet and the taxi is alive or something? <clears throat> Here you go, lads. Welcome to the countryside. Thanks. There it is, Dooley. Castle Dooley. It's exactly as I remember it. Has it changed a bit? Dooley, you've never been here before. You didn't even know it was real until last week. The memories are flooding back. Okay, yeah, that, that, now we know there was a picture that it was from this castle. Yeah. Don't misunderstand this following line, Captain. The hills are alive with the sound of raining. Thorn must be angry today. Isn't Thorn Norse? Oh, you think he only makes it rain north of the border? I got the pun. Nose is old nose. Nose means north. Yeah. So it turns out I am the king of Ireland. Makes sense when you think about it. What? I think I just heard ink jump down. Can't see where she's gone though. I don't think anyone said oh, that, Julie. Is. I think we forgot to ask him back. Uh, back at the outside the tavern, but uh, well, it's impressive, isn't it? Oh yes, a teeny bit dreary do. Could do with a slick of paint or a second castle on the top. Something that differentiates it from odd other castles around. What? Castleception? Uh, uh, ink, ink is just going around my legs again. Great, the rain stops as soon as we're wa finished walking in it. Rain will do that to you. Is this guy waiting for us? Greetings, sirs. I will take your bag, so you, mu uh, so you must proceed to the ceremony. Because you're late. Sorry, home is, uh, sorry, home is a long distance and many puzzles away. And now Ink is really interfering because he got up on the desk again. Sir, I'm a butler, not a judge. There's no judgment here, only butlerment. 
<laughs> I thought you were bringing in the bags. After the ceremony, sir, I must guard the door unto them. Now that the rains are cleared up, we look like a right pair of dry sprites. Uh, oh. Double pun. Would sirs like anything? Oh, please, I did loves anything. Oh, that's unfortunate. I've been ordered not to help in any way until the ceremony is completed. What? Why did you offer? Politeness, sir. Doesn't hurt to be polite. It hurts me. Where is there a giant stone badger at the front door? Oh, the badger is the family's mascot, sir. Okay. I thought it was a bear. <laughs> D for no. Dumbass. What? D for domicile, most likely. For Dooley, Dooley. Let's see. Garden. Apple trees. It's not quite an orchard, but they have well kept apple trees. We used to claim these key. No. No. We used to claim these as a kid all the time. No. We used to claim these as kids all the time. There we go. Did you know? Uh, who is this we? Uh, the other Dooleys and myself, I guess. Hmm. What kind of exhibitionist lives in a class house? It's not for people, it's a house for plants. Plants? There you go now. I thought plants were sweet, innocent things. Turns out, you're a little perverts. That explains why they never wear pants. Oh, for the love of God, Dooley. Oh, this is, oh, this is where people hid away from nuclear bombs during the Cold War. Before our time, thank goodness. Oh, for the love of God, Dooley. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we go? It's locked. Bell and Air Detective, we are a long way from home. Like, take the pins at Nanny's Dooley's, a perfectly normal rep representation of home. Disgusting. What? Why would you pick a rubbish dump and not, I don't know, campsite? Or the city park or botanic house or a thing? Stop, stop messing with the map webcam ink. <laughs> he was bonking against it. <laughs> oh, hello? Hurry up, lads. The ceremony can't start until you climb and you click through. Oh boy, I hope I get that cool room like this. Also, let me quickly check something. I thought we'd have to go in here. Oh, I'm afraid the interior is locked until post ceremony, to which you are late, as mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Also, it's a good thing we're playing a point and click at the moment, because otherwise ink would be getting in the way of my <laughs> uh, arm on the keyboard now. The ice house? Look at this. Before refrigerators existed, people used to store ice in hills like this. Uh, I'm true. They, they couldn't have made ice without refrigerator. Release. They'd get ice from lakes during winter. So wait, you're trying to tell me that Lakes had refrigerators? That's crazy. Oh, for love of. Crazy enough to be true, okay, I believe you. It's not a worth saying at all. Look, Detective, I understand that you don't want to be outed as an informant. When I post a blog about this on. <sighs> Duliminati.com, I'll give you a cool nickname like the Whistleblower. Please, no. Wow, look at those clouds, Detective. Beautiful. They must have taken an age to draw. The, the ink. <laughs> ink. Ink hit the... I think ink hit the clip button. <laughs> okay. Look, I, I'm, I'm preserving that one. <laughs> But I'm keeping yeah, my hand but... over the stream deck now, so she doesn't do that again. But I think you know what you're not gonna need that clip. Uh, oh no, she she hit the open clip button, not the clip button. Okay, that that would have been absolutely perfect though. Yeah, and also, 
We had something like this in my old town's garden. No? Without a fence, uh, without kids, just a wooden door. And a smaller version of this, but we had one of these. Okay. It would, it, it, they wouldn't really come with gates like that because that would let the heat in a lot more and well ruin the purpose of an ice house. But you probably have a wooden door further in. Point? A jacuzzi! <laughs> what? Well, actually... The base of this well is pretty loose. I think I can slide one out. But now we just have a rock. But an old wellstone that is very roughly brick-shaped. Are we going to smash that over someone's head or something? Also, oh right, we need to go in here. Ceremonial circle. I Mayor Dooley, Arch Druid. There you are. No, it's fine. Don't rush yourself. You're already 20 years late to your coming of age ceremony. What's a few minutes more? Is it a coming of age thing? Oh, what the? What the heck is my head from there? Let's see. I don't know what that means. Does it come with gifts? Here, put this robe on. It might be a little tight, but it should still fit. It does come with gifts! Yay! <laughs> How do I look? Oh. <laughs> you, you look like freaking Link. What? Why do I get the feeling now that he's going to take the cap off and it's revealed that he has long flowing bl blonde hair? <laughs> and then he gets a, a green cap? You look... Excuse me, is there time to let it out a little? No, we're about to be... Yeah, we're about to begin. Now you look great, buddy. Ooh. Family and friends, we once more get uh, we, yeah, we once more gather to acknowledge the turning of the Great Wheel. That time of year when young Dooley children become young Dooley adults and carry on the family duty. Let us start by answering the ancient questions you've studied for. We've done what now? There's a test? Kevin, who are the Dooleys? We're a family of protectors who look out for all of humankind's goods. A family a family of cops? I'm from a from a lot of narcs! Dooley! Ruby, what is our eternal purpose? We keep the sun high in the sky, coming up every day to bless the soil and going down every night so that others on the planet can feel its warmth too. And Patrick, how do we do that? By believing in ourselves? What? No, we do it by... Wait, is it getting dark? Yep. Dooley, you broke the sun. What the? The sun has gone out. Our sacred duty filled and on such a pre prestigious, yeah, prestigious day. How we ever failed this family such? What to do in this both little and figurative dark moment for the family? Detective, I think we gotta do something. I mean, I wasn't paying attention entirely, but I think Dooley's are meant to stop this kind of thing from happening. And I'm a dually, and a you're a dually by common law. Oh god. And this is kind of weird. I think the kind of weird that maybe you'd be interested in, in looking into. And I don't ask for much. Just food and lifts and excuses not to work and visit to my family, and I guess I'll ask you, will you help me investigate this? Dooley, you had me at detective. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Wait, where are we going? Yeah, yeah how are we like going to get around in this? Have we tried to use this less exaggerated voice and less pain from my throat? I'm still sick. Let's see. What is it you're looking for? What's going on? Why is it dark out here all of a sudden? I don't know. Something is wrong here. Very wrong. Perhaps something has happened to the sunstone? What is the sunstone? Uh, you can get... If you, you if you use one... Uh, I, I'm, I'm forgetting what, which Pokemon evolved with the sunstone. Uh, if you use one on your... Uh, no, on your gloom, it'll turn into a Vaal Bloom, I think. 
Oh, now, that's the story. But you're in a rush, so I'll give you the, uh, the condensed version. The sun goddess Aine? Aine? Uh, well, she was turned into a crane. Of course. Here, this is uh, this is Irish mythology we're talking. Uh, people are always getting turned into birds. Less of your cheek. Anyway, when she became a crane, she laid the stone that controls the sun and gave it to uh, Dooley Ahuan. Dooley a what now? It means first Dooley. Which, the story says, I carved from a potato. Anyway, she gave the sun the sunstone over to be protected forevermore. And it was, until today. We'll get it back. Bloodwolves dishonor. What? Dishonor is not a very reassuring term. Bloodwolves are like hip hypothetic. Hypnotist. God was like hypnotist. If you're at a point in life where you're turning in, turning to one for help, then you can't afford to be a picky. As a point, I uh, need to borrow your stick, I think. The ancient dually, uh, Shillalag? The Shillalag? Shillalag. Shillalag. Oh, it's said different than it's written. Anyway, what do you want this for? I think your stick, your shillelagh, might be able to get us out of here. Out of... outside? How does that work, then? I uh, mean out of this situation, the blackness. Alright, okay, so here you go. Just after accidentally beating Dooley up for a moment, <laughs> trying to hand over the stick in the darkness. Son? You okay, kid? I'm not a kid anymore. I did my ceremony. No, wait. The ceremony was interrupted. I'm gonna be a kid forever. Wales. <laughs> you, you really have a way with kids. Kids. You really have a way with kids. Always bowls me, me over to see you interacting with them. You're, you're being sincere, aren't you? Always. Kid, what's that you're drinking? So how do you how can you tell anything about this endings off the desk? Okay, I need to open the door for a moment so she can get out actually. Otherwise, she'll start scratching at it. There we go. Ah. Ah. That depends. You a cop? Is this the freaking Dooley of uh, Emily of the Dooleys? Not in this country. Well then, it's not even going to try. Can I have some? I'm gonna give it back. I'm going to give you a soft yes on that. I don't know what that means, but I heard yes and a bit buzz, so here. Uh, these boulders are limestone. I wonder if... Yes, there's a piece of flint sticking out of this rock. Got some flint. Small piece of flint. A spirit made from potatoes. Potato ghost? Spooky! Not uh, that kind. Disclaimer. Disclaimer, people. Yes, I wish I'd been better known for potatoes, but... There were no potatoes in Ireland for a very, very long time, until uh, maybe 1500s or something like that. Mm. Potatoes are from, originally from South America. Yeah. This stick slash club is called a shillelagh. I bet they are glad we came along and made easier, less lyrical names for things like sticks and clubs. Let's see... To Grove? I don't think we should go anywhere without a light source. Oh. See, that is the kind of thinking that's had me bringing you on this adventure. And what? I know what we're going to do here. We need we need to light the stick on fire. We need a rack to burn. He's saying that term, Niels Shane. Shane. Actually, what I'm gonna ask someone who may might maybe know okay. this. There's an ingredient missing. Julia, I need some of your robe. Let's see. I sent a question to Glacier Boy. Let's see. 
I don't know how much I can spare. Here's a small piece. Okay, piece of robe. Piece of torn robe. We can put that on the stick. Okay, I wrap this here. Pour this on. <laughs> what a waste. And we have a torch. Torch unlit. A makeshift torch. Now I just need a way to light it. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Do we need to use the... Okay. okay. Flint against stone should make it by fire, but... Wait, wait, do we need to put the stick on the ground first? Let's see. Oh. I'm not seeing it saying anywhere it can be put or something. Yeah, but now I'm confused. But yes, this fish should work, but... We don't have the controls to combine all three at the same time. I'm pretty sure these are supposed to be British or Irish uh, sayings or something he keeps doing. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Actually, the developers were not from America, were they? Yep. I could make a Tinder kit with the right rock, but this isn't it. Oh, there we go. Alright. We'll make a blood wolf out of you, Jet Detector. Okay, Tinder kit. Oh, oh, yeah, metal works better than a rock, I guess. Oh. I should be able to start a fire with this. Let's light this on a birch. <laughs> oh, come on. I never felt more like an explorer than that I knew. I never felt more like an explorer than I do now. A new country, a burning torch, pocket full of stolen treasure. Do we? even more exposed now. Yeah, that's like an inch away from public indecency. What is it you're looking for? Uh, about your stick. It's no stick, boy. It's an ancient and all-important sh uh, shillelagh. Hailed by the family leader from days of yore. It passed down as a sign of wisdom, duty, and rights only to those who have proven themselves many times over. Well... My legend tells that the shillelagh uh, uh, certainly can be traced back to the landing of the old gods on the shores of mythical Wee Iron. I, indeed, some say it's a splinter from the uh, from the mighty uh, Dagda's uh, Lorgmor. The Dagda is a powerful god, and the Lorgmor is his mythical war club for your American boys. Anyway, what of it? Oh gosh, I, uh, I'm really sorry, but I set it on fire. Uh, don't worry, I'm out of stairs. Spares? What, do you think you're the first to set on, uh, an ancient and powerful stick on fire? Now, we're way and solve this mystery. I don't have spare sunstones. My, <laughs> my, uh, though I wish I did. Uh, okay, I had to hold my fr uh, self from laughing out loud there again. Uh, wind up and the punchline. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I'm gonna my hand for this one. <laughs> yep. What are you up to? Ah, be careful with that knife. What are you at? Uh, what are you at anyway? <laughs> Stabbing the darkness to chase it off. Right. Can I uh, have your knife so I can do that too? I mean, I guess there's no uh, no eye in knife. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. That's exactly how knife is spelled. Isn't it spelled like? S P E L L E D. Yeah. Spelled is also a word in Dutch, but it's a form of oat or something. It's something you can well, find get in bread. Well, you do spell knife. K N I F E. Yeah, but I'm I'm thinking this guy did not <laughs> knifeless drew it. I'm thinking he did not get uh, traditional uh, education. I feel naked without my stabber. I should have gotten you to trade me something for that. <laughs> well, your loss. Yep, and we can't pet the dog. 
Sure. What is it, boy? Has, has, the, has the devil come for us? Arf. Also, what? <laughs> Ray Dooley Druidly Chap. Uh, Captain, I think he's breathing him in an, an accent. Probably, yeah. I was, I was robbed. Oh, wait. I was robed in my robing. Oh, robbed in my robing? Robbed in the robing, yeah. Let's see. I have a feeling it's in here or something. Oh, dear. Looks like there's, you know, there is something in there. Yeah. Can't reach and the gate is locked. I need to find something I can pick the lock with. Small pocket knife. Is that small enough? The blade is too thick to pierce. Okay. And uh, nope. Uh, oh wait, devils! You'll uh, you'll not find solace in here. Tiny hands, oh hand run. <laughs> okay. We should ask around for a key. Hello. John Butler, the butler. <laughs> your mouse then? Which sir is like anything? The sun has gone out. Wait. Is John going... Butler. Ain't there a celebrity by that, by that name? I'm not sure. Oh, so is this going to be a case of the butler did it? But, wait. Yeah, Rob Butler. I'm not sure. Hmm. But the, the butler did it is a... <laughs> is too uh, uh, too traditional a, a, a trope to not be used here, or they go, they're going to subvert it somehow, I guess. But it has. How unfortunate. This could be a long night, and I have packed no snacks for the weans. Has anyone else entered the house? Not that I am aware of. The archdruid is keeping the house on lockdown until until further notice. Where could I find a key for the greenhouse? Why I have one? Can I have it? I'm afraid I need to hold on to it in case the children get hungry. I might need to source them a snack from inside. Thank you. Goodbye, sirs. No, the drain has cleared out. All right. Yep, okay, that's changed. And I thought the sun was going to stay in the sky. Today is full of surprises, it seems. Hmm. Can we... No. Can we... <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> Go ahead. You, keep, you tell me to go ahead. Now, no, detective. People in glass houses don't let friends do drugs. What? Uh, they don't mean. Of course, he would say what as well. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we need something. Nope. I shouldn't take more than I need. We need. Guys, we need something to either get us. Maybe. Hmm. We need to get something smaller, or the actual key. Uh, can we chat with the... Hmm. Let's see. Oh no, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, then lots of shame on you. I'm only a kid. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm out of ideas then for what we can do, so time for a hint. Put this away for now. Okay, uh, let's see. Druid's Delight. Uh, there, Druid's Delight. Castle. Apples. Uh, oh, yeah, there. Yep. Let's see if, I, if we can knock one loose. We can get three loose. Okay. This type of apple is called a Janie Mac. I much knew a person called that. Yeah, so apples are made of people for some reason. 
And another spammer, uh, yeah, yeah, another spammer gotten rid of. Here, have this. Oh, you want me to prepare this for you, do you? It'll have to wait until the house is reopened. That's not why I... It was for the children. Not meaning to be rude, sir, but how can a, a child swallow an apple whole? Iris children cannot dislocate their jaws. Not since St. Patrick himself banished the snakes out of the children last Tuesday. Saint me? Well, you're welcome. Different Patrick, oh, right. Patrick. The... His first name is Patrick. Yep. Let's chop this apple up. Gaming, no! Apple slices. One sliced apple. And one ticked off dually. Again, this is not the JD Mac, an actual human person, that you know. Okay. There. Here you go. I don't understand, sir. It's already prepared. Yeah, it's for you. A snack to share out if need as needed. Why, right, thank you, sir. I'm afraid I cannot let you into the house without the arch druid say so. But here, have this key to the greenhouses, thanks. What? Probably should not be giving that out, but uh, we wouldn't be continuing otherwise. They should get us in here. Stay back, Satan, old Bob. You on your, your devilish nose. Uh, hi there. Americans? Worse than the devil, so... Sun's gonna have to see. It has. Not good for plants, you know. Not having sunlight. Of course. They need things. Things to survive, you understand? I do. Plants have the same three basic needs as humans. Is that so? Sunlight, water, and a lot of reggae. But <laughs> again, wind up and just punch from the punchline from nowhere. What happened to the sun then? That's what we're investigating. Well, I might have a lead for you, then. Really? Brilliant. Normally, it's up in the sky this time of day. When I lose something, I check the last place I remember having it. You think we should check the sky? I do. I have a ladder out back if you need to get up then. I should go get the detective. <laughs> also, how is my Irish is accent? Uh, these? Uh, not great, not horrible. If that makes sense. <laughs> so good enough. No yeah. flower beds. What other kind of things do you grow here? Uh, we grow it all. Edibles, combustibles, dirigibles. We have the lot. Or I have the lot. Really? What about an ant? Oh, yes. There's one of them sleeping about the place somewhere. Chuck the plant? Of course. Of course I have. This isn't, the ba uh, this isn't baby's first garden. So they know the spaghetti tree. Oh, you can't move from the spaghetti trees in here. Yeah, it's all pasta and sauce down the, yeah, those aisles. Awful mess. The more I hear you speak like that, the more it sounds like a bit Irish, but also very thick Dutch. <laughs> I, I think I'm ba I think I'm almost automatically doing. I'm, I'm just lifting up my tongue a bit, and I think th it's talking a bit more from my throat. Hmm. Careful now, like that's Stankfoot. <laughs> Probably a pungent root, if ever there was one, and and there was plenty of them. Tell you what, I heard it through the grapevine that you Americans like souvenirs. Uh, why don't you take some of that home with you? And say home, I really mean as far as customs. Thanks. Yeah, I'm getting near any flame of yours or it's gonna, uh, it'll really stink the place up. He says as we sp <laughs> holding a flame. You see, alive? No? <laughs> Pippin. Oh, good. Wait a second. So watering can get much use with, uh, you know, with all the rain. No, I mostly use it as a foot bath or a toilet when it's raining too much to run inside. Ew. Hopefully not both on the same day. At least they wash it first. Oh, at least off the use. <laughs> Would you believe I used that plant to fight up a horde of zombies once? Plants vs. Zombies. Soil thermometer. Soil th thermometer? Yes, yes. Can't have your soul too hot or too cold. Servant soul is no good for to anyone. And soul with a fever? Well, that's all sweaty and gross. Fascinating. You can have that one since you like it so much. Really? Thanks. Okay. 
It's a you. Oh, it's not Rome, technically. Yeah. Why do they call you Tiny Hands? That'd be on account of me, Tiny Hands, you see. And yes, they you know, they look the same size as your hands. But I wear big gloves, you see. Well, to me, they're big gloves. But you just call me. You know, but you just you know, call them gloves. Just one of the ways that the world is different from micro hand, you know, from micro hand is like myself. I think that's about all we can get around here. Yeah, it's and people wondering. You, when you plant things, you want to move the. Every time you re replant something, you don't want to plant them in the same place. You want to move it around. Otherwise, the soil can get things that make your plant sick if you just re plant it the same thing over and over. Yeah, there, there has to be a bit of a rotation in either location or what kind of plant you're, well, planting. Yeah, there's a strict <laughs> inspection. Whenever someone sells you soil, they will need to inspect to make sure it hasn't got any thing that can make plants sick. Yeah, because yeah. there are bacteria in the soil and everything. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Enough sidetracking. Calm down, Captain. Let's see. These things, I never smelled a worse smell in my life. It's got a large head, uh, weird at the number those face sits, but the neck is long and thin. Sounds perfect for a lock pick, or at least yeah. a pick that we need for this lock. Yeah, I don't know sure you need a more, but to check the soil. You just need to make sure it doesn't, isn't too dry for planting. Yeah. And there's a different kind of test for that, a water test, I believe it's called. We should be able to pick the lock with this. There we go. Let's see what's in here, then. Strange O's. It's three of the letter O with apostrophes after them. That's odd. Three punctuated. Oh, are, are these for the Odulis? Maybe? For some reason, I saw a fort first. Will it be rings? This is some man cave. Uh, no. I'm not, I'm not sure this is what people mean when they say man cave. Oh, it's a cave. We are men. Language isn't that complicated, detective. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered to learn it. Is this the is the is this the creepiest thing I've ever come across? It's top five for sure. More bottom five probably. These barrels would have been used to store the ice, I guess. Somebody must have taken it all. All that's here now is water. Is that really everything here? Okay. Uh, I know I'm just a simple beat cop and not a fancy pants detective, but I think you just need a smelly plum smellier. Burning herbs. As I corrected, this smells worse. It's fogging up now. Could fill an area with that. Uh, do we need to put that somewhere to make it foggy or something? Very meta clue. What's this? It can't be. Those O's. Those apostrophes. Some O'Dulies must have snuck in disguised as Dooleys and stolen the Sunstone while we were distracted. Those fiends. Those scoundrels. Jackies, a lot of them. Pure gobs they are. Black and tans of every yeah, last one. They're bad as uh, what I'm saying. Bad news. If they're involved, we have a problem. You have to catch them here. Uh, I'll whistle on the wind uh, so that the butler knows to let you inside the house. Yeah. One of the phrases there just rose my eyebrow and I wondered, what do they mean like that? But I could feel like there was one that could be taken out of context. Probably. Uh, did any Odulis enter the house? If they did, they must have done it before the ceremony, as I've not let a soul in or out since. Not a soul, do you hear? Did an Odulis get in on my watch? No, not a soul. What about a ghost? Did the ghost get in on my watch? Not a soul, I told you. But what if the what if the Odulis don't have souls? And here we go. There's some place detector. Some place filled with three thieves. Let's find them. 
Remember that time we accidentally burned down an entire house by messing with one of the these <laughs> good times. Foolish. If it's not broken, it can be. That feels like a motto I can go with it. No. It feels like a motto I can get behind. It's broken there is a strange grinding noise coming from inside. It, okay. Also, that motto. I feel like that's a motto that fits many gamers. Whenever there's something like breaker of barrels and such. Yep. A portrait of Tammy Dooley, who supposedly spent a year and a day asking why of everything a fair, uh, of everything a fairy said until it let her go in frustration. <laughs> well, that's one way to deal with the fate. <laughs> Annoy the fuck out of them. Uh, let's see. Let's start here first. This must be where they stole the sunstone from. That's the second luscious green banner I have ever seen. What's the biggest then? Oh yeah, it's been smashed open. Broken glass, probably from the theft. Or oh, there could have been an emergency. Uh, really? In, in case of emergency, break glass, steal sunstone? See, Suban? Suban is a pronounced ship. Oh, wait. Okay, thank you. Shivon is pronounced Shivon. One menacing name. Says here that she robbed the castle and sailed it out to sea so she wouldn't have to give it back. That would explain the eye patch. And the picture on her shoulder that she's painted red and green. It's a, a, a pirate who stole an entire freaking castle. Yeah, wait. I don't see a bird on the painting! Yeah. This place is so big, you need benches to take rest between the rooms. Come on. A handful of fancy looking shields. I could uh, I could fit like one shield per hand tops. Maybe one in my, my... So, One Piece reference. I think so, yeah. Just <laughs> that would be interesting, just... just Someone using three shields to fight, but they can't see a damn thing, so they knock out everyone around them, friend and foe. Yeah, do fun fact! I have watched One Piece, but then I lost track where I was. I do remember there was one character that fought with two shields. Okay. Hmm. But not three, only two. One in each hand. Detective, do you pr Detective, do you pronounce it... Vase or... Uh, wait, now again. Vase? Okay, do you pronounce it vase or vase? I'm a vase man myself. Same. In Sweden, we would say vase. But that's yeah, the, how we say in Swedish. Yeah, the, the Dutch word for it is V-A-A-R. V-A-A-S. So, vase. <laughs> Basically how you say it. The painting of the sun. I guess it must be imported to them or something. Look, the favor, they even <laughs> had drawers to store their dust and cobwebs. Come on, Dooley. Drawing room. Does this look a bit like, you know, with his skin on? Our school mascot? I guess he does, with his skin on. <laughs> okay, <laughs> three, two, one. May, May he bleed, bleed for, us all. for us all. Where the fuck have we got there? <laughs> Connor Dooley, one of the family's military leaders in the O Wars. Oh, come on. And also, I think I know what the mascot was. And I don't think it would be appropriate. Yeah. Uh, what, a what a nice fire to come inside to. Yes, and with the sun gone, fire will become the new god, providing light and heat for all, all, all its followers. Um, really, that is crazy talk. Quiet, don't make me sacrifice you to the new god. Oh dear. I'm so jet lagged, I need chairs for all of me, not just my arms. What? But yeah. Okay. I, I don't think that mascot would be a good idea. 
What monster will look? Uh, no. What monster will lock me out of a room made for eating? Okay, can't go further that way. Let's check upstairs. Okay, now I'm curious if, if there's a video about worst mascot designs. <laughs> probably. There yeah, probably is one. Let's see. Great old Gug yeah, Gugnet Dooley, inventor of sleeping on the job. I've never been more sure that this is my family. Bedroom. A painting of a handle in which the artist just glued an actual handle to a frame and painted over it. A duly family masterpiece. We're going to need to take that, I guess. I like the carefree and liberal use of naked, un-uniform... No, unmonitored. Unmonitored flame in this place really sets the atmosphere... Uh, it you sets don't... the atmosphere on fire. Yeah, I feel like they, you're not supposed... Yeah, I don't think that people uh, normally would leave camps like that. Unless people don't know how dangerous that is. Is there a woman's face screaming inside the knob on that locker drawer? Boys, anyone who doesn't get that reference gonna be lost. <laughs> Duly. Wait, that means that it was a reference then. Uh, okay? Half a full poster bed. Fancy. Wait, what? Duly, you know that's just perspective. No, wait, you're right. Two posters. I guess we're, <laughs> we're only half welcome. Oh, there's a landing. Now, where does ends oh. go? Uh, detective, you might need to close this case yourself. I need to interrogate this bathtub. <laughs> A damp looking vent. Yep. Setting up my new home duty do. Who's that? Sure, you see shower heads everywhere, but have you ever seen a shower body? Not says the French shower revolution. Now I'm just trying to picture a shower yeah. body, and it probably would just be a whole a whole panel, uh, a whole panel of uh, sprinklers. <laughs> oh dear! Why even have Why even have a mirror if it's going to be tiny? I made all of mine to be seen. I, I think we're already seeing a bit too much of you, Dooley. My heart's every time I enter a bathroom. You have tiny bathroom plugs here too, see? You're not so different after all, you know, uh, you and I. What? Eh? <laughs> Where's America and ask, <laughs> ask McQueen, Dooley? Well, this is, well, this is a letdown. Dooley, this is gorgeous. Sure, but I misread this room as unsweet and well. Of course. Uh, what? I, I don't get uh, it. Uh, sweet, so you thought it was a candy room? Oh. Uh, this was just me trying something random. This should smoke them out. It, uh, Louise O'Donnell? <laughs> Oh, that smell, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> okay, that was just completely at random. Somebody else's room, another place for us. Oh, an attic door. Uh, how do we even... Okay. Oh, looks like we smoked them out. Book them, uh, book them, Dooley. Yeah, book them, Dooley. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that's me. Booked at me. <laughs> Where's the sunstone? No idea. I got scared during the heist and hid in here. You'll get no info from me. I'll tell you that, and I'll, and I'll tell you true. For, for a second, I, saw that, yeah, I thought it said coughing perverts. <laughs> oh, dear. Barricade kicked over. I don't really understand how the uh, how these got knocked over, but I get the result I I wanted. Uh, so happy days. Okay, <laughs> it must have barricaded the door. 
But I, I, I kind of skipped ahead, <laughs> trying something random. There is a small castle in this giant castle. That is kind of an extravagance I get behind. Let's see. Go in. Oop. Look, for a second, I thought that was a person. Same. If you squint, if you squint, almost, almost, wait. If you squint, it almost, almost looked like the American alphabet. Um, it really is a stanky root. The stankiest. A hurl! They use this to play hurling. It's essentially a fight with sticks and an, and an optional scoring system. Can we take it as a memento? Apparently we can. A curved panel of wood, I think. I read about this. It's a hurl. From the game Hurley, two teams of 100 people that... Beat 100 people beat one another with sticks while some of the less violent players score points fastest. And the most brutal game on Earth, apparently. I'm not sure that's how it goes, but... It is... A horrific wind-up toy with a wind-up key. No, oh, it's just a wind-up toy. <laughs> Even McQueen was turning to Dooley there for what are you waiting for. Uh, let's see. He has a glassy stare. Oh, he has a glassy stare that says, kill me now. Uh, yeah, kind of and yeah, I just got to reply for a friend and they do not know the term. Okay. An old wind up I don't want another one, but uh, I do recall that the other friend doesn't know the la uh, doesn't speak that language either, so... Uh, okay. Hmm. The hatch at the top won't budge. Looks, uh, looks like a mechanism has it locked in place. Okay, we can't... Yeah. Oh, vents, vents, interesting. Okay, that's how we were supposed to figure out to use this, <laughs> use the stink root. Hmm. Okay, let's check downstairs. Oh, hello? Pat Dooley. No, no, my, oh, don't mind me. Got a bit wet in the rain, so came indoors to warm my ferret. I don't see a ferret. It's a hungry wee monster, so it might be hunting for sausage around here, somewhere. Should I even... Have you seen any strange-looking individuals? I did. Two men. When, uh, one wearing a pervert coat and the other dressed like a wee girl. Brilliant! Where did... Where, where did they go? They've intimidated her into silence. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll find them. Is your name Path 2? Family name. My siblings are Patty, Patsy, Patrice, and Patulio. But n I'm not Patty. That makes no sense. None of us are slabs of meat. <laughs> meat Patty. I better get going. Those Odulis aren't go going to catch themselves. They might. Not the brightest bunch. This won't open? That's just for holding magnets. You know those weed magnets? People give them to you as souvenirs. Gosh, if only they had a handy name so I could explain them to you. Anyway, where's the magnet box? It doesn't open. <laughs> They're called fridge magnets. Hands off Pat's pots. What are these pots made of? Greens. They are so shiny. It looks like they could be copper. They say even a broken clock is right twice a day. Uh. I changed its time tr strategically, so this clock is never right. <laughs> well, if, if you if you take the hands off of a clock, then it's never right. What? This cupboard is actually filled with cups? Where is all the food? <laughs> Stashed away out of your reach, I'm pretty sure. Off. There are bits of a statue in here. 
Hands off, I'm boiling these those kettles. For tea? What? No, to free the soul of water soul. Look at it there, floating off the water heaven. Are you making fun of me? Honestly, I must unsure as you. Bye bye, water ghosts. Okay, we found the other loopy half of the family. Uh, oh dear. Let's see. Glazed ham, honey glazed ham. I think I bit. Oh, poor Lord. I think I whipped myself from saliva. Uh, push it, push it for real good. <laughs> Which is a song by Salt and Pepper, I believe. Oh, right, that's a bad name, that ain't it? Bread loaves? Honey loaves? Is there anything. Is there anything they can't make out of honey? It means it's made with honey, duly. Cooking lords? Give no all this place, as a lubricant seems like it could come in useful at some point. Okay, we're probably going to need that for the hatch up above. Pot of stew? The remains of a stew made out of honey beef. How are there leftovers? Baguette? Ah, baguette. Delivered this morning from France. One of the joys of being in Europe. Uh... I'm pretty sure most places make those themselves now. Boxes full of bees? That explains the honey... That explains the honey everything. Uh, no. It doesn't. Druids delight mead. I started to think I've been drinking honey the wrong way. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to drink honey straight up. But I, yeah, I do want up, to no. try mead at one point. If there's alcohol-free mead? Sure. What else we stay away from it? I guess for now I'll just have to stick with tea with honey. <clears throat> a large block of lard used to fry absolutely everything over here, including life expectancy. <laughs> uh, rub a puka on your veruca? What? I don't know why he looks so happy about it. Poor wee guy. Like, dumb waiter. I love this thing. I used to ride it between here and wherever it goes. Dooley, for the last time, you haven't been here before, so you can't have used this dumb waiter. <laughs> hey, I'm not dumb nor a waiter. Oops, I mean, whatever, this broken lift thing would say. Broken, eh? Yeah, it's why I'm, <laughs> I'm only mid getaway and not fully gotten away. One of the cogs is broken and now I'm stuck. I think we find a cog we can get this guy or out and arrest him. Okay, I remember there's being cogs around here somewhere. Probably. Look, I hadn't actually expected one of them to be hiding in there. Also, I've been forgetting to do this. I think I've died and gone to heaven. <laughs> See? They have kids in here too, just like we have at home. A Dooley family tradition. I think that's a human tradition, Dooley. Mm. I'm glad we're inside now. It was cold outside and my uh, knees were shriveling up. Uh oh. Let's see. I like Dooley. But sometimes I do regret voice acting him. Okay, we've got one of the three. We know where the second one is. Not sure where the third one is. I think we're about done here. Maybe we can get this off. No. Hmm. Actually, can we open this thing up for something? If act Let's see what's going on in here, then. Seems to have some extra cogs. I'll take those. Yep, now it runs well. Remember that time yep. the accident? Oh, uh, wait, yeah. Yeah, it was an extra click. Okay, let's see if we can just stick these in here. Let's get this thing fixed. Yeah, and free the dumb waiter who got stuck inside. 
<laughs> knew that was coming. Hey! Okay, we have to figure out what order the cogs go in to rebuild the system and get that end cog moving again. Okay, do we need to move these from... Oh yeah, there. Let's see, that needs to touch, so there. That's too big, so there. That fits. That fits there, and that fits there. Got it! That's the system back up and running. Let's get this guy out and into cuffs. I complain about having to work on holiday, but I just enjoy putting people in cuffs so much. Where's the sunstone? <laughs> I'll never tell you. Because I don't entirely know. Mao Dooley had it, and I got separated from her when the lift broke. But she's a sharp one. You won't catch her with, with her trousers around her ankles, so no. You'll never take me alive, but we just did. So uh, then you won't catch me. You are caught. I won't go down without a fight. Uh. Also, why do I get why do I get the feeling that she's the lost Oduli? Hmm. Let's see. Where is the lost one hidden then? Don't tell me she hid it in the fire. Okay, so we've got a stick, we've got lard, but I've got no clue where she might be hiding. We've gotten someone upstairs, we've gotten someone downstairs. That makes me think that the last one... Well, they're all in... they all should be inside. Hmm. Yeah, I think she's going to be on this floor somewhere. Hmm. The question is finding what is actually just decoration and what is useful. Okay, I'll need to look for a hint on this, I think. Otherwise, we're just going in circles because I have no freaking clue. Uh, wait, what? Water on the... Mm -hmm. Apparently, you need water from the well or something. Uh, okay, that's something else. Okay, wait. Okay, why is that set up front, up top if you need the sunstone to have it there? Uh, casting the three thieves. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I didn't think of this. But we can use the dumbwaiter. Let's see where this goes now that it's working. These are just like that statue I saw in the bin. I wonder if that uh, means one of these is fake. I should look for a way to, uh, yeah, for a way to verify the statues. I'll even have to double check the portraits. I found to be sure. Okay. Uh. Big Finn Dooley, who supposedly baked the uh, salmon of knowledge. Or bait? Ate? Sure, uh, surely that should <laughs> be ate. Ate the salmon? No, he caught it and gave it to, to a bee. Wait. No, he caught it and gave it a beating for not knowing to avoid his fishing line. He has large hands. All the better for beating fish with. Maybe we can rule him out by finding a matching statue. Oh, there is one. Oh. The statue has the gloved hands of famous fish fighter Big Finn Dooley. Okay, I need to say this. I did. I saw the snatch and I thought, is that a fish man? No, he was just bald. Yeah, yeah and uh, it's the mustache. I, I thought it was eyes, but the jaw looks a bit odd. But actually, yeah, the eyes are missing. Uh, they are snatches, so okay, that makes sense. Yeah. No one has eyes. <laughs> I was about to say. So yeah, I just know why I got confused. 
Long flowing green banners. I sure do like green in this country. Well, it, is, it is like the national color, I think. <clears throat> Unsure. Uh, okay, now we need to check all the portraits, it seems. It's a painting of this dining room, including a smaller painting in this room, which has the same and so on at infinitum. <laughs> oh, those. Uh, infinity is endless. You can't really add it to something. Well, there's a limit to how much you can paint it. What's for dinner, Detective? I can't stand the NTC. <laughs> pasty, it's anti-pasty. I'm not getting that joke. No bottle of vinegar. Pungent, I think it might be worth taking. That's... that's some length. Yeah, you'll need quite a... you'll need to move quite a distance to pass the salt. Also, only two chairs. This should just bring us back out to the hallway from earlier. Now we've unlocked it. Yeah, now we just gotta check all of these. Oh, it said something at the end there. We should check the statues, yeah. That one. There's the menacing eye patch and stance of Shivan Dooley. And her not very convincing parrot. The what parrot? Okay. The, the, there's no parrot on the painting or the statue. Did I forget to add it? Maybe. Uh, she has a distinctive scar on her face that might help identify her statue. And this one has a scar. It has a scar on the statue's face that matches Tammy Dooley's. Okay, and we saw the army guy upstairs, which leaves one. <clears throat> and the great old. Yeah, invent. Um, yeah, there was one in the hallway as well. A very on brand. Maybe a statue of Sleeping Stew. Uh, where was that military one? No. No. Okay, I know we... S or is it the other room here? Yep, there. Uh, he has... What's a nice way to put this? His yeah, ears are dispor disproportionate to his head. I'll keep an eye out for it. Okay, big ears. Yep. The statue has the sm of small ears of Connor Dooley. And a military uniform. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, the ears distracted me. <laughs> okay. This is the only statue that doesn't have a matching painting. This is the fake. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not going out without a fight. Take this. <laughs> I've just got the rolling pin. I'm not afraid to use it. Quick, Dooley, confiscate it. <laughs> ah, no, get back. Look, this Eve, she had this in her pocket, too. Pockets. Did she now? <laughs> Did she now? Arrest her, Dooley. For the very real and not paranormal, or just normal, if you will, crime of theft. One sunstone. You arrested me and my boys and stole back our admittedly stolen legacy. What more do you want from me? How about the sunstone, eh? Your buddy... Your buddy just took that from me. Did he now? What's your stolen legacy then? The sunstone. Hand it over, so. He already took it. Is this guy for real? Oh, I'm for real, all right. Very real. Okay, if that's <laughs> if that was a reference, I missed it. Uh, one sunstone. I should bring this to the arch druid. Uh, can we just yeah. slot that back ourselves or something? That's proven to be less than secure. I'd better take it to the Arch Druid instead. Good point, good point. And stolen legacy. Yeah, I'm not curious what that's on about. You got the stone back. I'll be honest, nothing like this has happened in a hundred years or and one more. 
Wait, is that literally like a 101 years since last sunstone <laughs> theft or somewhere around here? To my internal shame, I'm not entirely sure what comes next. But, I remember my grandmother's grandmother, who died long before my time, telling tales of a recovery system, my way to use the stone to reboot the sun. Wait, how did she tell you a tale if she was dead? Oh, sorry, I thought you needed some information about how to save the world, and when it, it seemed like you needed you know, was a lecture on lyricism and poetic license. Or lyricism, and, sorry. Anyway, there's a secret room in Castle Dooley. The entrance to which is hidden in the phrase, If you have a burnt, uh, burning desire to see the sun again, then you must follow your hearth. It's the fireplace. Yes. I'm sure you can de detectivate your ways through that. Yes. That was... That uh, one's so obvious that even I can figure it out. Yeah, no, I was it is. Notice I could have figured it out. But imagine if a kid played this, they may not know what a half is. Yeah. Like if they left the H out, then they, it might have been a bit less obvious, but... Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> if you have a burning desire to see the sun again, then you must follow your heart. Hmm. Maybe the hidden room is through here? I need to put out the fire out for, uh, to find out. Uh, can we throw it out on there? One of those old rolling pins that doesn't have a, a rolling part a rolling part to it, what? So roundy stick then. Pretty much. Um Actually But didn't we need to go to the well for water? Alright, yeah, that that was one of the For some reason that hint was put above the finding the sunstone bit. Even though you you need the sun you need you need to have found the sunstone to get it. A bit of an odd placing there, on the the hint side that is. Hmm. I might be able to get water from here if I can find a crank. Or that doesn't work. There would be no way to turn it. Or it, oh wait, we know where there's a crank. Uh, that Dooley and his fake memories again. There was a crank up here. Depending on the handle, yeah. Can we just get that down somehow? Uh, this is going to be one of those things that I think shouldn't work, but does. 100%. Yeah, one handle. Yeah, of course, why wouldn't that work? I think that's a due to uh, many homemade remedies that they use vinegar for. Possibly. The crank handle, it has no shaft. Heh. <laughs> Stop being really? immature, Dooley. If I stick this handle on the end, I can use this as a crank. If an empty canvas? I can't believe you ruined my inheritance nest. I can't believe you ruined my inheritance nest egg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a lot more Dooleys than you around, so it wouldn't be much of a nest egg. It would be more like a... <laughs> A nest pebble. Oh, yeah. it, now I'm reminded of the of the crank uh, movies. Those are <laughs> those are stupid fun. Okay, let's get this well working. And get some water. Just telepathically move it because <laughs> the queen is too uh, too lazy to walk over and do it. One bucket of water. Bucket full of water. Precursor to very damp pockets. Oh, also, oh, missed this. The sky is possibly still stormy. It's pretty dark when the sun is turned off, eh? Now I'm just picturing just a giant freaking light switch on the sun. Okay. There we go. Let's put this fire out and see what happens. One empty bucket. One now empty bucket. Something on the wall behind the fire. Seek not the odds. It looks like some kind of lock. We need to know the Dooley family crest and motto to get through. So, uh, so what are yeah, they, Dooley? Uh. Let's see. It was a circle. It is green. 
Badger. Another bear. Badger. We love the law. If it's not broke, it can be. And I think that's actually it. That does... Oh. Yep. There we go. Yeah, that was a wild guess. But I think uh, these... They didn't pay attention to the shields earlier. Yeah. One secret ladder. We're in some kind of secret chamber. Maybe you should have brought the torch in here. Good point. What happened with the torch, actually? You left it outside, I presume. What is this place? Never mind, never mind that. What is that thing? The, the rocket? Control panel. Let's see what it says. Hey, hey, hey. Fire level zero. Sunstone reading zero. Rocket status no, no, no. Oh, party pooper. Well, they did ask what it says, and it said, get the hell on with it. An old furnace. We need wood or coal to get it started. Uh, we, we can get a bucket of coal. Is that? I think I'm in love. Is that a rocket? Well, it's not a rocket rocket. It looks like it gets its thrust from steam built up from the connected furnace. Still pretty impressive tech for something so old. A steam-powered not rocket rocket from a million years ago? Take that, NASA! Uh, maybe not that many years, so many years ago, but still impressive, yes. What's carved into it? A sonic kiss? It looks just like my birthmark. What? Really, you don't have a birthmark, and certainly not one that uh, like that. If I did have a birthmark, though, that's what it would look like. I feel, I feel it in my... Ah, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna try that. But I knew I did where to begin with that one. Yeah. That, that sounds that's like bullshit to me. Hmm. I guess we need to put the gem in. There's an opening that looks right. I guess this thing flies the... What am I saying? This is all insane. Would you have preferred a case with Benchies and Fumorians and their fair folk? That would have made more sense, at least. Fine. We put the gem into the rocket to fly it into the snuffed out sun and reignite it. Ugh. <sighs> Did you say goodbye to the rocket? Seemed rude not to. Okay, one stone into a stone rocket. The stone stone steam seems to fit into this chamber. A large boiler for shooting the rocket into space, it seems. It seems to run up to, uh, to the ceiling. I presume it's a chimney that comes out somewhere on the roof. Let's see. Yeah, now we need coal. And so probably we'll something it. more. There. Let's scoop some of this out. Yep. So the magic of pointing and clicking my empty bucket is now full of coal. What a journey has been. Okay. Hmm. Just had a bit of an idea. There, let's fill this baby up. I'm no expert, but I'm pretty sure you're not meant to fill babies up with coal or any combustibles, really. Uh, I just had a bit of an idea. One of the things that can be really annoying with point-and-click games is having to move through all the screens. So I wonder if there are any that have like that let you jump to any any in an area through a map or some of come of some kind instead of having to click through every door and such. Probably is at least some, one. Some do, at least uh, from one map to rooms. True, but I hmm. I meant more on a smaller scale or something, but yeah, there's there still needs to be some time between things or to let people think. Now uh, fire level zero, sunstone reading one, rockets that uh, uh, is no yes no. Actually, actually, I kind of like this guy. He's growing on me. Maybe I should set him up with a... Uh, with B. What? 
Isn't that the AI they actually created or something? That <laughs> zigzag is married to its work, sorry. Okay, so we need to make a flame. Oh, we have filled it with coal, we just need to light it now. Oh, there. Wait. This is how castles burn down, probably. Wait, we, so we did... <laughs> we had... We did bring it with. The furnace is lit, I guess that means the rocket is powered. Alrighty, fire level one, stone stone reading one, says rocket, yes, yes, yes. Let's blow this Roman candle. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Let's solve this case and get the sun up and running again. You want to press the button, Dooley? Really? Of course, it's your family's rocket. It's your big day. Oh, shocks, detective. Thanks. And that was me just trying to fix my shoe. Launch sequence activated. Woo! Rocket launch in 10. Error, launch door is blocked. Opening uh, access hatch for manual fix. Oh, man. Yeah, it was too easy for that. We still have some stuff to use. No problem. We just get the doors open and restart the launch. Rocket launch in nine. Oh, oh no. no. Okay, that was natural sync. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Quickly, this is it. Launch in one second. Let's do this quick. Uh, hole in the wall? No. Chimney stack, this must be the top of the stone. Rusty old doors, these must be the launch hatches. They're rusted shut. That's the Irish weather for you. Lord? Lord. Let's piece up this son of a hatch. You grease those up like a pro. A hole in the wall for a crank to go into. Uh, a crank we don't have anymore. <laughs> well, in, in less than one second, we're going to run over quickly then. Just freaking flash this place for a second. We have a crank back where it won't budge. If we only could bash it out somehow. Hmm. Guess it wouldn't hurt to have that crank back. Yeah, this is a bit awkward. What? <laughs> Still in one second, inexplicably. Thanks, robots. <laughs> Thumbs up emoji. Uh, how did a bunch of freaking druids connect to the internet? I can't do it, Julie. I'm not strong enough. Launch imminent. We're not gonna make it. Urk. Zero seconds to launch. Wait, that means it's time to launch. Let's do this! Leroy! Soonkin, or Sunkin. I think those are actually enemies in World of Warcraft. Sunkin or something. Yep, that was a bit early. Yep, but I guess it worked. It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Detective? Yeah? Thanks for taking the YouTube turn to the crank. I need to work on my ability to lie. You can never lie to me. Come on, let's go finish your ceremony. Get you decent again. Family, friends, we have gathered here again on this once ominous day to perform the coming of age ceremony. And to properly welcome our prodigal, uh, prodigal son, uh, yeah, pro yeah, prodigal, uh, prodigal son, Patrick Dooley, back into the fold. You hear that? We said a, a prodigy. Yeah, that you are, buddy. That you are. <laughs> okay, that one went by qu pretty quickly. Went quicker than the others. Yeah. Uh, fun fair dismissal. Blackouts across the city have led us uh, to Vince, uh, Vince's fun there, where the surges seem to be emanating from. Uh, from. Okay. That's about 45 minutes remaining. Yeah. Let's see. 
I don't have I don't need to head over to the aunt and uncles this time. So we should be good for the uh, him again. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, we're here. Now to see if this place is where the power surges that are causing blackouts across the city are coming from. Looks like the trail has gone dead. We better check the next place on our list. Did you not? What do you think just happened a moment ago? What? Did something happen when I blinked? Blink? We, we don't have... <laughs> Okay, so I was entirely 100% paying attention in my defense. That's more a you thing. Okay. I don't understand why anyone would, by his choice, leave the ground. What dark secrets are they running from? We are going to end up. We are going to end up. Oh, what? We are going to end up. up yeah, that's a typo. We are going to end up up there, aren't we? Yeah, it's not a typo. Oh, wait, no, that's not a typo. It's just... It looks weird when you actually see it. Yeah, that's how it would be written. Yeah. Detective Fish, uh, great to see you here. Brought the family to the fun fair, eh? To it, yes. Into it, no. It's pleasant to look at, but little Shelly is already getting overexerted by being here. Can we go in now? Uh, she's at it again. Off the bloody handle. Keep it up, Shelly. <laughs> Just keep it up and help me God, I'll take heck out the taser. <laughs> Why is she like this? Are we to blame? Did we do something in a past life? Bah. Are, are you gonna be okay, kid? Yeah, they just have high-stress jobs. They'll tire themselves out in a minute. Then we'll, you know, then we'll go on the roundabout ponies. Wait, the kid has a job? Multiple jobs? No, the, her parents do, just she's used to it, and so to become the uh, parent? She's miming them. And she's mimicking them. Detective, officer, what a what, 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 what a white right, right rice, high rice. What? Uh, a, a white rice, nice, high rice, surprise, what flings, brings, well, uh, the Shakespeare way out here. Still at the rhyming slang, I'd see. It's my bread and butter. Bread and butter. Yeah, that was not a good rhyme. We're here about the power surges. They're causing blackouts across the city. Now you hear about the showers, you know, splurgles, power surges. That's some roast beef, a relief. I thought you were here about the hissing seagull, missing people. Did you say missing people? No, I said hissing e seagull. Uh, you meant missing people. And we'll see locksmiths, I plead the fifth. <laughs> Please should investigate, Dooley. It's probably just have a nice day out with you, is it? Goodbye. Air die. Yep. He's rhyming with what we say. I'm not translating that one for you. Did I ever mention that I don't like clowns? I feel like this is going to be an unpleasant case for you. Yeah, how did he actually say that? I don't remember. Could be. Come and see the greatest line uh, up of rarities and oddities ever seen, only at Lady Farnival's frivolous carnivals. The shaved lady, what is she doing here, you ask? Shouldn't she, uh, she have a beard? Exactly, that's why uh, what's so odd. Come stare at her smooth, clean jawline and gasp in confusion. See Mikey Monkey Boy, descended from chimps, watch him use tools and communicate with others of his kind. And fear Mr. Complete, half man and half the same man, he'll astound you with his wellness. He's detective. Maybe you need to investigate these places for strange goings on. Also, look at the carnival entrance. Yeah. Rings a bell. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Pennywise. Correct. You would also be correct if you said it. <laughs> hmm. Jump leads might it be useful in an electric, uh, electricity-based mystery. Okay. What's going on here? The elephant broke down. That's it? You're going to try to deliver that sentence like it's perfectly normal? It's normal enough here. We don't have an animal mechanic. 
I uh, think I might know where the power surges are coming from. Also, uh, I know a lot of places have like a thing with creepy clowns and such, but not so much in the Netherlands, I think. But a few show up every now and then, but I think in for the most part, most uh, Dutch people are okay with clowns. Mostly because, well, one pair of uh, children's uh, entertainers uh, were an acrobat and a clown. Uh, in Dutch, Bussy and Adrian. Not sure what their names would translate to in English, if at all possible. It oddly rings a bell. And I don't hmm. know why. Maybe I heard them in mention post? Could be. Also, I forgot. We should take Buzz here. Ah, oh, that guy. But he's so small. I wouldn't be able to go on any of the cool rides with him holding my back. Me holding back. me back. Also, I think many places that don't like Klaus nowadays. The house of people have not liked Klaus too much. But that's been true. But ever since a certain. Uh, you know, the global prank with people dressing up as killer clowns? I yeah. think that very much killed it. And, yeah, that, and also Pennywise. Yeah, that one probably started it. Or started, made it grow. And then <laughs> people made it all dress up as a clown by road, and that just, just... Yeah, that just went overboard. Yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> There's a warm glow coming from this mains box since that last surge. I'm not sure I want to touch it. It seems to have overloaded in one of those power surges. If I want past it, I need to find a way to replace the burnt-out wiring and then replace the mo restart the motor. Uh, you have the cables, I think. What's with the mechanical animal? Vince has gone vegan, so we released all the animals. Oh, that's where all the lions in the park came from. There are lions in the park? Why didn't you report it? They weren't causing harm. They were just lion... Lion... But seriously, I was too scared to tell anyone. <sighs> well, can we use this? Need to find another power source first. Well, there's this. I can't see anything good coming from hooking the elephant into the city power supply. Do we, do we hook it to the car? Do we think this is a circus? Oh yeah. Can, yeah we can go oh, this way. I just realized. I think I know what is it vegan. <laughs> if they said a certain group's name, they would probably have got in problem with that group. Yeah. And <laughs> Even many though of them they are... probably are <laughs> vegans. Yeah, even though they have more of a habit of killing animals than the ones they claim to be the animal killers. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine the size of eggs that monster hatched from. Yeah, it's certainly impressive. Very bells and whistles. Bells and whistles? It's a duck! <laughs> Ooh, duckies! Are these actual ducks? It's Hopefully not. I cannot believe you, know, you dragged me here to fish for ducks. I'm going to ruin my outfit. Get the funny colored one. It looks tasty. It looks angry. <laughs> That's an actual freaking duck. Uh, that that I believe the I believe the term for a male duck is mallard. Uh, and Drake. Yeah, Wait, I was to say, I heard of Drake. It still confuses me. And now I just real I think I just finally realized a joke. <laughs> With oh, Darkwing no. Duck, their, their actual civilian name is Drake Mallard. His Wait. name is Dude Dude. Or Man Wait, Man. I didn't know that was his actual name. <laughs> Fancy go then? Not right now. I'm on a mission to fix an elephant. Lick an elephant? Nice one. I recommend some applesauce, from experience. <laughs> How does one end up working in a carnival? Same way one ends up working anywhere. You give up on your dream and hand in an application. <laughs> that was more real than I was expecting. Welcome to the real world, guy. Goodbye. Later, Gator. Tin Can Alley? 
Wait, didn't we see you out front of the auction house before? It... Maybe. Maybe a little day. My dogs don't like being out in the rain. Maybe. Hmm. Is this the same stand you were using when you were selling eggnog? That depends if you work for the health and safety board. Because if you do, those dried in egg and cream stains are part of the uh, hot dog making process. Of he was selling eggnog at the mall for the Christmas case. All right, so the one at the first episode was a different guy then. Yeah. What's the deal with the ducks? What do you mean? Like, they are part... Like, they are part bird, part fish. They defy biology. biology. No, I don't think that's right. You're right. I mean, the little fish bird is right there, so it can't be... It, uh, it can't defy biology. It does boggle the mind, though. Truly. No. This place lost less glamorous once you get inside, eh? True. Let's see. Hmm, does this guy work? Oh, he works alright. Has all the chirps and whistles you could want from an automated killing machine. A what? A normal non-threatening robot. Hmm, maybe I could use the circuits from this thing to rewire the elephant? That right there is a toy of a green, uh... Arakari. Sorry, that, that's too, can, yeah, too confusing for me. Even Dooley's going like... You, you're better than that. Octopus, stop being so greedy. One push should be enough for anyone. Dooley, not, not after what you just said. Crash Panda. Is that a purple raccoon? I washed it with the octopus by mistake. Why did you need to wash it? It's new, surely. Now it's got, but it got into the trash. Get it, raccoon trash? Eh? I found it in a bin. This guy green about. What does he know that I don't? They are selling this. They are selling this crap. You've got to be squidding me. Uh, eh? Eh? My kids made that. Oh. Doesn't make it less rubbish, but it does mean we can't point out that it's rubbish. Child labor laws have changed a lot in the last century. Uh. I spotted Barney. Ooh, I want to call this guy up so bad. We actually have no clear idea what dinosaurs look like. While this friendly purple one has been popularized by television and are admittedly plausible based on skeleton findings, any number of variations are possible. They could have been chubbier, spinier, and had feathers. It could have been dragons and they used dragon magic to make us forget. What? You said any number of variations were possible. <laughs> but he does have a point. Uh... One thing that you know, one thing that doesn't survive with fossils is soft tissue. Like I've seen some examples of uh, if you take current if you take a, a skull from like a certain kind of cat or something, and you would go off of only the shape of the skull, it would look completely different to what it actually looks like because well, all the <laughs> all the muscle and uh, soft tissue. Well, does not stay. On, it does not stay when things get fossilized. So a uh, lot of filler is lost, you could say. Captain, I'm starting to burst a bubble. You kind of half wrong. No. Oh. We do have dinosaur mummies. Okay. And we even had one recorded some years ago of finding soft tissue from one dinosaur. Board. Do there was new DNA in it. Okay. But still soft, but yeah, nothing to use from it. This thing again? This guy again? Dooley, do you have any holy water on you? Don't hold out on, don't hold out on me, Dooley. I didn't bring enough to share. Do you remember uh, what we saw in the retirement home? The power of friendship? The demon. 
if you wanted holy water, you should have brought your own. Ugh, I'm onto you, bear. <laughs> God damn it, Dooley. Uh, oh yeah, we do have a few dancer mummies. The first one, I think, was a Condotaurus. The first Condotaurus. Problem is, we have little into its face because... Yeah, when they remove the face, they actually broke part of its scales on the face. Okay. But we have some mummies that have helped us. Okay. That I didn't know. Maybe we can win something here that would be of use? Roll up, roll up, win a gift for a loved one. Happiness guaranteed. Go on then, give me a go. You might have something useful here. One ball coming up. You took a knock over my cans, you get your pick of my prizes. One throwing ball. One of Tin yeah, Can Alley's throwing balls. Are throwing balls any different from... No. Are throwing balls any different to normal balls? Based on my experience, they're less accurate and aerodynamic. And they tend to be saggy balls as well. Phrasing. They, they tend to be more sand-filled than, like, actual tennis balls like this. You, Let's give this a go, shall we? We? Are we both going to go through it? Uh, no. Maybe I'll just do it myself. Hey, that shot was right on the money. <laughs> and yeah, here's a classic carny uh, trick where the cans are, well, either weighed down or have something else going on. Yeah, do I think it, that one is hard, hard for them to do, do now since, well, inspection will probably will see it right away. Yeah. Hot dogs, here's your hot dogs. Hey, Norman, I guess the eggnog business is seasonal. Nah, mate, someone you know, took all my milk. Nobody wanted to drink just eggs, so I was let go. Tried to you know, tell him that a food vendor is for life, and not just for Christmas, but they was having none of it. Oh, sorry to hear that. No worries. Thankfully, this carnival came to town. His mama says, when God closes the door, he sets up a circus. One hot dog, please? What flavor do you want? What do you have? Vegan? Is that the flavor? Probably. Want any sauces with that? Oh, no thanks. Good, mama was all out, so I just have empty bottles. Gotta re I'm gonna refill them in the nearby cafe in a bit. I bought a soda there one, so I get free refills for life. Eh? I don't think that's how... Here's your dog, mate. Okay, one hot dog. This is just a bun. Well, it's all vegan here, isn't it? I raided mom's fridge, but she only had meat. I figured who'd even notice. You're a detective and you didn't even notice. But I just called you out on it. Mate, it's a hot dog bun, not a telephone. This, this guy. Tell me about it. How's Agnes? Mom's good. Her, arti her artisanal microwave stew business. Stew only lives... <laughs> Twice. Uh, do you, uh, do you only live twice, but it's taking off. She's got employees and everything. She's even branching out into catering weddings. Who knew Stu would it be so popular? Mama knew. That's why she set up the business. Weren't you even listening? <laughs> okay, here was actually expecting like one of those vegan meat hot dogs, and I think I've I think I've spoken of those things before, but I cannot stand them. <laughs> I cannot stand those fuckers. Yeah, uh, I was going to be honest. I expected that to be a carrot, a boiled carrot or something. That Not would empty. technically work. <laughs> uh, you're not going to make me search out the bins again this season, are you? You look glum for a guy at a fun fair. Well, I, you know, I'm a com competition guy. Enter competitions, lots of them. Learn numbers. You enter enough, you're gonna win. I have a stamp with my info to speed entering up, you know? With an auto-dialer and a lot of P.O. boxes. I know all the tricks, all of them. I'm always winning stuff like boxes of chapsticks, one one, and posh baby strollers or tickets to seances. Right? And, well, I won 97 entry tickets to this place. And let me tell you, it stopped being fun somewhere in week three. I've even gotten an attendance warning from work. <laughs> Why don't you just bring friends or give uh, them out or just not use them? My man, that breaks the code. You win a thing, you gotta use it. Otherwise, you're robbing from someone else. Why do you think I drove here in a, in a child's pram? Really? What? Hey, you said happiness guaranteed, but this game is rigged. Yes, my happiness. 
<sighs> oh, hey, what's up, guy? I just... I'm not loving this... This carny is villainous and everything is rig sick. It's a bit tired, isn't it? It is. But it needed to work and you needed an obstacle to, yeah, to getting what you need. So here we are. It's a tough economy out there. And sure is, brother. Anyway, yes, I have rigged the game and there is no way you here and your weedy noodle arms can win. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't write the script. I just read it. Uh, Dooley? Want to give it a go? Sure, I'll let up. But my bad. Sure, I like throwing stuff. Oh man, you've beaten my stereotypically rigged tin camp tossing game. I guess you win a prize. What do you want? The biggest teddy bear you have. No, Dooley, we need the robot. It might help us get the elephant up and running again. You big new good for cuddles robot. Are we done here? Can I go back to running a fair game here? Seems so. Thanks, and sorry. <laughs> a clown um, town. I don't know what year it, it is take place in, we have seen the computers and all that. But, yeah, I'm gonna suspect the uh, duel will be surprised in a few years. Uh, <laughs> hey, how, how are the Blood Wolves getting on? Great! I've entered the pack in, into Little League. None of them can see... None of them can hit a ball yet, too. Maybe I threw them too hard, but it's an important life lesson. Something, something curveballs. Uh... Now I'm just, now I'm just picturing all three of them knocked out on the pit, on the, uh, I don't even know what to call it, on, on the middle of the field because Dooley just throws them at supersonic speed and knocks them the hell out one by one. Oh, bloody heck, poor kids. Zuli, if any clowns come at me, I need you to taser them. No can do, Detective. I'm friend to the clowns. You're supposed to be friend to me, too. I know. This a, I know this is a right Sophie choice. What? That's the... Have, have you seen the film? No, I wanted to go, but I was sleeping. Wanted a nap. Another tough choi Sophie choice. I have no idea what that's referencing, actually. It's a movie. Yeah, but don't know what move, what the movie is like and such. I don't think so. <clears throat> I don't know if I have seen it either. What do you think is going on in there? Let's find out. Find the business? Mm. I could use it to jump... <laughs> yes, funny business. Uh, I could use this to jumpstart the elephant if I can find the keys. Someone had to make the joke. I love the petting zoo. I hope there are tigers and spiders and all sorts. You want to pet that stuff? Uh, no way, wait. Is that what a petting zoo is, is for? Yuck. It's in the name, Dooley. That, that actually reminds me. Uh, when I go to work, I, I take a bit of a short... Not really... Not really a shortcut, but a way along the the highway to to, to dodge a uh, very busy part, which uh, has a habit of running of getting shut or of the of getting <laughs> jammed. Yeah, that's the word. And one part of that leads through what I can only guess is like a personal little zoo or something, with uh, one big area where the sheep and a smaller one that has peacocks of all damn things. And the bastards have a habit of escaping and getting onto the road. Of course. Yep. <laughs> right, Honorable Judge Judy. Judy. And now does the defendant plead? Loudly and often, Your Honor. Mary Payson. This is a clown court. Yeah, it's... <laughs> How do we fill these balloons after the helium run out? Not re- We used the defendant's own hot air! How can this be a fair trial with such a biased judge? Leaky bridges? A fair trial? This is a clown court, not some whimsical land of make-believe. 
I can't okay, forget that there was a phrase joke. until I saw this. Uh, why is there greasy face paint smeared all over this? The courtroom sketch artist ran out of paper, then he just ran out. Want the job? No. Oh, clown keys. Are you trying to take my place in the, in the choir? What? Because those are my keys you're trying to steal. Hands off. Court is in session. And until I throw the book at this guy, it's staying that way. And so it already. Enough clowning around. I've lost it. Where? It was last seen on the hook by Ed in the nook by the brook until a wandering duck and other crook took the book and now we're here we don't know where to look. As a result, I'm terribly shook. Oh, I do hope you understood this gobbledygook. Okay, points for the rhyme. What the heck? What are you accused of? I what? My client is accused of clowning around on the job. But, but he's a clown. That's what I said. We clowns take the business of clowning very serious. Clowns have no business clowning around. On or off the clock. Not even next to or under the clock. No clowning around in the vicinity of clocks. Or clocking around in the vicinity of clowns. It's so serious you'll notice the lack of yeah, <laughs> laugh tracks and otherwise comical sound effects here. Comedy is no laughing matter, not the clowns. But, but there is a laugh track. <laughs> what the heck? Is that your car outside? Yep, but I can't talk right now. I'm busy defending this clown. <laughs> okay, this is this is actually pretty funny. So this is what a court looks like. Truly. It most certainly is not. Surely you've been in a real court? You're a cop for goodness sake. No, I always ignore my summons. Seems like a waste of time. Um, I was right too. Turns out the Wu show is uh, run by clown. You're not wrong. <laughs> the legal commentary from a freaking comedy game. Are you... uh, Wait, haven't we seen you before? Yeah, <laughs> behind bars again, Tam. Tam was arrested for trying to steal candy from a baby. It ain't as easy as Sam was promised. <laughs> Tam feels light too. Sorry to hear that, Tam. Can I borrow your knife? Will Tam get it back this time? Last time you took his knife, you didn't give it back. Of course. Well, alright then. And say goodbye to your knife. Well, you might not get it back. You're in clown prison after all. Tam feels double light too. <laughs> uh, mall, mall bot? <laughs> no. Did you get fired too? <laughs> Warning, do not feed the criminals. What are you doing here? I thought you worked in the mall. Mallbot wanted to follow dreams of being entertainer. First stop, Clown College. Second stop, Hollywood. Then Mallbot's takeover world. All shall bow before Mallbot. <laughs> the giraffe? How do we get the... How do we get what we need from this bot? I'm not pulling. Out, I'm not pulling out this guy's mechanical heart. I'm not a big gear hunter. Big game hunter. Let's see. Look at that cutie. I'm gonna call him Toby the Robot Tobot. I get to it, has Dooley. We need to get its circuitry out. Don't you dare harm Tobot. Actually, that makes me... How dare Tam keep... Wait, how does Tam get... Oh, hold up. How does Tam keep getting this back? It makes you think it's the same knife. Because I keep giving it back to... Hi, hey, look at that destruction over there. Really? <laughs> and hey there, Knight, how are you doing? The mom bot reminds me of those bots from that one show slash movie that go and that go all eliminate, eliminate. Are, are you talking about the Daleks? Yeah, it's not eliminate, it's exterminate. Uh, let's see. Oh, anyways, hello. How has everybody been? Shadow lurking. Yeah. Uh, doing pretty. Uh, yeah, doing pretty well, I'd say. Uh, work again tomorrow, but oh well. <laughs> 
What are you doing, two bot? Dude, uh, what are you doing, two two bot? What the heck? You're just walking around with two bots in nuts in your pocket like it's a normal thing to do. They're still warm. You helpless monster! <laughs> Alas, poor two bot, I knew him well. This is the least impressive animal display I've, I've, I've seen in a while. Uh, all Tam's practice behind bars has not paid off. Uh. Okay. <clears throat> oh, sick. Oh! Okay, I think I know what the knight is talking about. I have not seen the movie, but they say horror movie about more robot security that goes on Haywire, I guess? Maybe. A, a, uh, an old 80s, 70s hmm. movie? Probably 80s. Uh, uh, I think, but also no. The bots I'm thinking of are like security bots in a movie, and at night they start killing people. Uh, I doubt it's FNAF, because those are not security robots. Again, it's, well, that be it's be obvious if it was FNAF. Yeah, I think this is one of those uh, 80s movies I forgot the name of. Could be. <clears throat> She's gone, but her clothes remain? <clears throat> okay, that was definitely a voice crack. <clears throat> She's gone, hmm. but her clothes remain? What? Hmm. She was holding this when she vanished. I guess it's evidence now. One hook. Did you eat my sister, Mr. Duck? Hey, kid, where's that lady you were with? She went whoosh and bye-bye. I think a big duck ate her up as revenge for Sunday dinner. It's very nice, yeah, so I don't really mind. Fair tribute, I guess, I reckon. Uh, okay. Uh, the judge mentioned hooks and ducks. Maybe the book is around here somewhere? I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, is your mm. little us the one with the hat? Yeah. Here goes nothing. Yep. <laughs> Damn duck! Yep. <laughs> No chance, Fuzz. Rude! And Howard. The dog's name was Howard. <laughs> Howard the duck. And surprising. Well, not that surprising, I guess. Let's see. Night. The monster Kira's talk about is the ones I'm also talking about. Okay. Friends go then? I really have a hook, thanks. So, I had to pay the commission by the hook. Uh, go on, take them all so I can clock off early. What about everyone else who wants to play? Uh, fine. I guess I'll just wait here for everyone else. What exactly happened to the missing lady? Uh, same flickering, uh, same flickering of lights we've been seeing all day. Then a big flash of light, and then poof, she was gone. You must have missed the energy surge while in the clown tent. Mind the girl while I look for the missing woman. Fine. I'll mind her, but she's not playing for free. Later, Gator. Okay, there's so there's some sort of there's some shenanigans going on around here. <clears throat> That's getting people you know, kidnapped. So. Without the clothes. <clears throat> uh, let me... Wait. Yeah, we we need to re-read uh, re that. They were talking. Yeah. If I just give uh, give it to him, uh, how will I get the book back? Maybe he will trade. No chance, dum dums. Oh. Uh, do we cut it up? I suppose getting some breach on this hot dog bun couldn't hurt. Baited hook. And Knight just made a realization or something. Now that flapping around must have left you hungry. What's what's that you have there? Crap! And we got the judge's book. Entrapment! Entrapment! I'm calling my lawyer! Uh, <laughs> good luck. Because <laughs> all the lawyers around here are clowns. Okay. <laughs> a pie baked into the shape of a book? Really? Interesting. Can I have a look? Look with your eyes, Dooley, not with your hands or mouth. Oh. <laughs> okay, have this back. 
Thanks, stranger. Now to put an end to this farce. By the, by the power infested in me, mostly this wig, I declare you guilty. Uh, <laughs> Ow. I declare this clay is closed. Court dismissed. Is that your car outside? Yep, what of it? Can I, can I have the keys? Well, I don't know you and I've only just earned the money to pay it off by winning this case. Might you have a face that's as honest as, uh, as it is featureless, sure. Uh, let's see, night. Oh, quite a bit. Uh, Y'all were in a court with clowns and, and then now you are at a whatever the fuck this is. It has a huge duck on top in Cod. One of the recent maps has an Easter egg wh which combines both of these things. Like, you gotta shoot some ducks, I think. There's a huge duck like, yeah, like that uh, one where you have, uh, where you were at, and then the duck has a clown makeup on it. It's hard to, I think I've actually seen a video of that from a... Uh, uh, <clears throat> I forget, I'm blanking on the name, but it, it's a channel all about uh, Captain Excellent. Excellent. Just E-G-E. Okay, e -E. I just looked at the clock. Uh, yeah, we should probably call it soon. Uh, but oh, I actually need to move the car. Actually, before we do, uh, yeah, next, we can unlock the pack next part of the case. Detective, this is no laughing matter. And yes, that's the one, yeah, night. I guess I had that coming. I said court's closed. Can't you see I need to get some beauty sleep in? Why else do you think I'm so pale? Okay, let's, let's drive this over to the elephant. One second, everyone out. I should have known. I should have seen this coming. What the? Okay, you can take the car now, and there's fucking Ronald McDonald. Thanks. I think even the faint. Then uh, I think all of them are references. Like I, that. That closest one looks familiar. <laughs> okay. Now, there. And clip this here and that there, and voila, we have a power source. No need to get all French about it. Okay. That's, uh, yeah. Then new circuitry. We'll just yank these old wires out and replace them with this new circuit board from a much smaller machine. I'm constantly surprised at how easy it is to revive things in this world. I wouldn't draw attention to it. You might jinx it and then we have to wait a few days for a real electrician to show up. Seems to overload it. Finally, everything is placed. I just need to start the car. I gotta start this car and move that elephant. The thing did the thing just break? Wait, what's that smell? It's overloading. That's good, right? I'm sure it's fine. They say at a safe explosion distance. Everyone, get out of the way, or not? <laughs> okay, I. I I was waiting for the sounds to start. Oh man, that didn't fix it. That didn't fix it at all. Well, it's out of the way. Uh, that's not great, to be honest. Yeah, and oh yeah, pizza. I watched the Captain Sauce yesterday. Yeah, let's see. I remember you guys were once talking about Captain Sauce, or at least I think Rakir was. He released a new video recently. Okay, I haven't yeah, seen that yet. And he said in the video, at least in a pin he put in his chat, that he's gonna be try. At least sounds like he's gonna try to start being back a bit more. Okay. So I guess whatever about around about his eye may hopefully be fixed. All right. Uh, yeah, we should probably call in a bit. <laughs> Pardon. <clears throat> Whoa! That stampeding elephant tried to make with the, these horses. Far out. Oh dear, this is quite a mess. Maxi not happy with cleanup. Yep. Yep. Okay. 
What the hell? It's me! Shingles! That guy just vanished! I think we might have found who's behind these missing people. So much for innocent until proven guilty. It's like you've forgotten your Hippocratic oath. Wrong oath. That's for medic uh, for doctors. Uh, <laughs> Shing Shingles the clown. Uh, you definitely wouldn't want to have be with Shingles because that's also a name for an infection, I think. So, what? yeah, let's save. I don't have Shingles as an infection. It might be a nickname for it. <clears throat> uh, let's see, N night. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you guys, but since winter is here uh, for us, so yeah, I made some winter is theme overlays. Like my model in P or PNG has a scarf now, Morzuela has hot chocolate, and my BRB screams me sleeping while Morzuela drinks her hot chocolate next to the fireplace. In my world, rabbits can drink hot chocolate without dying. Singles? Yeah, it's an infection. Most of uh, that. <laughs> okay, but yeah, we'll have to call it here for today. So... <clears throat> uh, yeah, but before we end the stream, of course, also, yes, I think I'm just permanently going to stick with this as the uh, background image. It it looks a bit better than the photo, ne not photo negative, with the colors inversed. I forget how I actually did that originally. Yeah, still, this mm. is still uh, temporarily after we do plan to get the officially made one. Yeah. Uh, let's see... <laughs> or if someone yeah, to have it actually be drawn by someone. Uh, let's see. I have a someone you can raid. They're called Kepler Leeds. Yep, now that's the timer I set up. Okay. Uh, switch. I'll have to clip that one. I forgot to clip the one from last time, so that accidentally broke. So couldn't clip that. <clears throat> let's see. Kepler. 13T7. Okay, let's have a look at what they are doing. They're playing Terraria. Okay. It's been a while since I played Terraria, but I've I've never gotten far into hard mode because I, it keeps get, it keeps kicking my ass and I just get frustrated and such. Yeah, <clears throat> same. But, it's fun, yeah. but it's a bit now and then. Yeah. Game. Uh, let's see. Still, let's take a look at who else are online. It's only a few ones. We have Moonrise with Jackbox. I'm Nice with Baldur's Gate 3. Isaiah Rasir is playing Kerbal Space Program. And Redacted Cat is playing The Legend of Zelda. Is that the original? Let me take a check. Yes, it is the original. Actually, we learned recently that there is a sort of... Not really a remake, but a sort of rework. A fan rework of that. I'm forgetting the name of it. Maybe it was called Legend of Zelda The Holy Relics or something? Oh, full of... <clears throat> I like people want to revive them, but we know, both know if it's quick Nintendo hear about it, they're going to shut it down. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Sapphire Cloud is playing Pokemon Platinum. Horatius the Dwarf is having a Psychology 102 edutainment lecture. Okay. And yeah, that's about it. Okay. This is, you realize, Nintendo own well known for shutting down fan projects. Yeah, because they are, but, they're, it's, I, it's not, it's not the entirety of uh, Nintendo, of course, it's their freaking lawyers who are just completely asinine about copyright and such. Yeah. Because but, there's no such thing as free or fair use in Japan. Uh, there is fair use, but they don't seem to understand. But uh, anyway, here's the thing. Why do fans keep doing this when they know this will keep happening? Uh, because they know if they shut the hell up about it until they release it, then it's out on the internet. And then there's fuck all that they can do about it. They can stop development of well, the people who originally make it, but then just other people will continue working on it. Because once something is on the internet, it's there for always. Like... There's a another Metroid 2 remake or something like that, uh, and uh, Pokemon Uranium. Both of those have been DMCA'd, but they're still both available. So yeah, plus 
Uh, yeah, the, the, the fans are fans of the developers, not the fucking legal... Uh, yeah, the legal leeches, I'll probably say. Like, they have to do their work, of course, but they don't have to be so fucking asinine about everything. Yeah. Anyways, who shall we raid? Kepler or any of the pre of the other ones? Uh, let me pick. Uh, let's go visit this new one. And yes, <laughs> yes, Knight, it, no, it's hard mode. It's needed to continue through the actual game because some stuff is locked, well, a lot of stuff is locked off until you go into hard mode by killing the wall of flesh. And then I just get, yeah, then I just get terrorized by freaking unicorns and fairies all day long. And it just, it just becomes a grind. Or even more than one. Either Thank way, the copy the name. Way. Slash raid and paste. Uh, yeah, before, but before we start the raid, of course, thank you everyone who's watching now or later. Thank you, Knight. Uh, we had, yeah, thank you, Marco. <laughs> How did I forget? <clears throat> thank you both. And I see Jess and Darth Knox have been looking for a while. Hello, you two. And yeah, <laughs> thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining, lurking, and enjoying this madness. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you missed Mark. Yeah, you missed Mark Knight. <clears throat> um, yeah, no stream tomorrow, of course, but we will continue with Alien Isolation on Tuesday, hopefully, and Thursday. Otherwise, I'll try to have catch-up streams on a Wednesday or Friday, if possible. Next weekend, I have two days off, both of them. So, hmm, we could try double streams of this, be because I, th I get the feeling... In just four episodes, we are not going to finish this game. Huh? I'm for this. I'm support this idea. Okay. And, and if we get from game, yeah, yeah, if we if we run out of game with this, uh, whilst we're still in Spooktober, we'll just continue with uh, Cyrus Luth, I'd say. <clears throat> yeah, for but like, there's probably a lot of short uh, horror games and all that. Yes. A bit short notice to find short ones. Yeah. So we, we had some backups, <clears throat> just they may not be short enough. Yeah. Okay. But for now, though, of course, let's get this raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone. Have a lovely Sunday. And watch out for undead seagulls. And uh, Shingles the Clown. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> you don't want to get touched by him. No. <laughs>